Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have a very special, special, special guest. <laughs> Mr. Deshaun Jordan is with <laughs> us. Yes. What's good? How are you, dude? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Hey, How you doing? I'm great. <laughs> <laughs> that was genuine right that there. Was. He is. That was good. <laughs> hey. He is great. How are you? I'm doing good. Yeah. You know? Sent out the way trying to stay healthy. You okay, I mean? you on you you health kick? What's yeah. going on? I mean the the the, the working out part I, I'm starting to get more consistent with, but you know the eating part I'm, I'm still working on that. What but do it's you mean? Like you so you work out, but you don't eat right. You what do you got a little fast food here and there, and like I uh, eat, you indulge? I the, eat right, but you know you know when you need something fast and you get mm, desperate to eat. Okay, you know you you What's you, your you go to the darkness a little bit. Where, 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 where? <laughs> you go you go to the darkness a little bit. You know you hit you hit up McDonald's or you hit oh, up really? a burger. You know, so fast, mm -hmm. but yeah, you're yeah. hitting the McDonald's. You're in the McDonald's, like that? no Dude. nutritional value whatsoever. <laughs> well, that's that. why I said, but bro, you can't hate on it. We, we, yeah. we all used to go there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Used, to. <laughs> used to. Yeah, I don't think I've been there in like for like ten years. It's been days for me too. Yeah. <laughs> when usually when I'm traveling to Europe, that's why I will do like a yeah. little McDonald's yeah, type of deal. Yeah, you gotta try the McDonald's in yeah, Europe. You know sure. what I mean? Just for to sure. see. It's different out there. Yeah, it's different. Facts. What's your go-to? What do uh, like number two? Two cheeseburgers, some uh, nuggets. I actually, I actually keep it light. I do like you know, I do a six-piece. Oh, and then I'll okay. go, I'll go cheeseburger, but I'll do no mustard, and I'll put Big Mac sauce on it. What? Get him. Wait, a wait a minute, fry. wait a minute. You're you're adjusting the menu. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes. 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 At McDonald's drive thru yes. you're like. <laughs> Yo, yo, no muscle. Let me get the Big Mac sauce. Mm -hmm. Let me get. Yeah, I like that. I do. You know, I do a little switcheroo. Okay. okay. <laughs> I never, like, I've never, I've never done that at McDonald's. Yeah. I've never adjusted my order. No modification. No, no, I never modified. Dude, the Big Mac is like a lot. Yeah. Like I'm it's a like, big thing. yeah, I'm like it's past that Mac. phase of like being able to just kill old Big Mac. Like now when I go, I'm like. I already know it's not good, mm. so I'm gonna just do. The, I'm gonna do the, the like smallest dosage of McDonald's yeah. I can do, but still dosage. enjoy it. Yeah. I will <laughs> say, <laughs> smallest dosage. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I will say that the fries there oh. are untouchable. Oh, yeah, they're good. They're Dang. untouchable. Yeah, they put a little something in there. I don't oh, know. Facts. They, they put a lot <laughs> Whatever of it is, in there. It's fucking good to me. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's that. list. McDonald's is always the top for the fries. Right. Like yeah, somebody yeah, asks you who right. has the best fries, they start with McDonald's. Yep. If they start with somewhere else, <laughs> yep. I don't know where they're Facts. like. They've yeah. never, never been to McDonald's. They're like uh, Del Taco fries. Like, hey, bro, bro, they're yeah, yeah, they're fucking yeah. good. No, <laughs> they're they're good. They're kind of good. The Creeper fries? Yeah, yeah. yeah. that's just Listen, fire. They are good, but yeah. the, the, if you had them all in front of you and you had to choose one, Oh, you can put a McDonald's fry in your mouth without looking at it and, and know it's no, McDonald's. For sure. Oh, facts, yeah, facts, yeah, facts, bro, facts. yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, I like the In-N-Out fries too. You know what yeah, though? The In-N-Out in pisses me off because you, you, after you're done with the top, the bottom layer is all the little crunchy bits and stuff. <laughs> oh, you don't <laughs> like the crunchy bits? No, they're little like little. Uh, I get those things well done. Yeah. Really? I, I say, yeah, I say like, light cooked. Yeah. Oh yeah. Or light cooked though. Light oh, you cooked. like them like soft? Yeah. Uh, like like in the middle. Okay. Like where, soft, where else are you going adjusting your order? Where else are you modifying your shit? Hey, hey, that's the thing. All the homes will tell you like I'm that dude. Yeah. I go to the fast. I go to, like the restaurant. I'm like you know I always switching stuff up. Like <laughs> I never I, I never it. I'm always asking the questions like oh what comes on that oh what do you think really <laughs> oh do you think I should, you think I should go cheeseburger cheese <laughs> <laughs> and I go to Chef's Choice but it's it's funny like all my homies give me a hard time for I think my mom rubbed, rubbed off on me with that because she's the same way really you oh, we gotta man. you know listen taste buds or you know you gotta, yeah. you gotta get the what tastes good to you Fact. you know but yourself. Yeah. are you getting yeah, this up before know. you're going skating uh no like if like normally before I go skating, I, I try to hit some food spots by my crib. I got like a dope, uh, like Mediterranean spot over there. Mm, okay. It's dope. Like I'll get like a little like like Peter wrap or something. Like I try mm. to keep. I don't like skating like because you know you Full feel stomach. it. Like yeah, you yeah. feel crazy. And I don't heavy. like feeling like crazy when I skate. Yeah. Like on at like, the beginning of a session. So I'll go like something light like that, or nice. I go like Firehouse subs. And okay. Just get, like get a six inch okay. or something. Yeah, like yeah. nothing too crazy yeah, just yeah, to like yeah, yeah. start the day, but. Yeah, I don't. I try to avoid McDonald's and all that before I skate because like, I, I don't want to feel like crap. You, listen, yeah. you get it. You get a little trick. Yeah, you get a little celebration at McDonald's. There you go. Facts. Yeah. That, that yeah. makes yeah. sense. Yeah. yeah, bro. What happened to Burger King's fries though? They used to have the best fries. They used to they have good fries. It? Like I don't. Like, Dude, I, I feel like they've changed it a few times. Yeah. When I was a kid, I remember that. Yeah. And I was like, oh fuck this place. Man. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> Well, you changed the fries. I was coming here mainly for that reason. Facts. Oh, the, the, chick the, the chicken fries got better. Chicken the fries. fries <laughs> and the fries got worse. Oh, <laughs> the food that we come up in the food that we eat is insane. I know. I know. But we love it. Shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And you wonder why 
America's health <laughs> yeah. crisis. I was going to say America. No but, yeah. Yeah. Come on, yeah. man. Yeah. Listen. Hey. I mean, this is what they're giving us. Like, yeah, uh, these are the options. Pink slime, all that. Remember the pink slime oh craze God, and all that bro, shit? Oh, my God, bro. I know, man. That, what? Man, how, is just, it, how are you going to... I just ate McDonald's the other day. How are you going <laughs> to... <laughs> How are you gonna allow Subway? You know, not real bread. Like uh, what? Yeah. What is going on? It's psycho. I haven't it had is. a Subway sandwich in so long. How are uh, Me the, too. the thing yeah. is, is like, how are these companies even like being like, oh, we'll get away with it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. We'll just put some fake shit out Old there. Old money, right? Not everybody. I mean, for not, every, not everybody knows though. That's the thing. Certain people hear certain things, and yeah, it slowly spreads out. But like. They're not telling that in the masses. You know? There needs to be like a testing facility that keeps track of all this shit. <laughs> right. FDA, well, you know, whatever, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, but then they approve something and the the real folks get in there. Yeah. It's like what what the fuck, what the really fuck in did this you just shit? approve? Yeah. <laughs> bro. Let's go. I go firehouse all day before. Firehouse. Sunday. What about uh Johnny Rockets? Uh, you know, I've never I've probably ate at Johnny Rockets probably like Twice in my life. Yeah, it's kind of random. Yeah. I never really yeah. eat there. Super random. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I never eat there. Super random. Yeah, you know. Johnny Rockies. Johnny Rockies. Yeah. You work out and all that stuff? Yeah, I do. I, you know, I don't go super crazy with like muscular, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Building on uh, muscles and stuff. You know, we work on that, you know, uh, aspect of it a little bit, but it's mainly just like balance. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, like all those type of things, you know what I mean? Endurance, muscular endurance. Like, Got you the know, BOSU staying, balls and yeah, the little things. Yeah, and the, riding yeah. the bike, you know what I mean? Right. Building up like all those type of things. And, you know, we, we tap in with the muscular part a little bit, you okay. know? I don't okay. ever, I never want to get like too big, you know, just like, you know, fit. Like, yeah. I, I yeah. don't want to be out here like, nah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like a ninja you know turtle on that. my board. Like, yeah. <laughs> does Sean skate different these days? Yeah. Yeah. look a little wow. different. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> But that's good though. You got to keep in shape, man. Facts. You know, we want to skateboard as long as we possibly Facts. can. So, Facts, for sure. Yeah, back in our day, Dubs, the working out thing wasn't a big thing. No, you know, not at all. Not at all, actually. No. Not uh -huh. nothing. I mean, I would start to stretch towards the end of my career. <laughs> and it's not, I can't say that towards the end of my career because I'm still skateboarding, but like I stretch more now than ever. Right. Yeah. I mean? yeah. Right. Right. As far as working out, I got to do that a little bit more. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. But you ain't starting off the world, um, the world park. You know, no. just doing some stretching no. and some calisthenics. <laughs> we just go, you know, just go. Like, even like I was surprised how like Tony Hawk, that dude does not stretch. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's crazy. He, he has his own personal way of stretching yeah. or right. warming up. I yeah, guess yeah. you would say for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's wild. Respected mm -hmm. for yeah. sure. Yeah. Dude, they had that comp. They had that uh, that Tony Hawk and friends. Remember in, in Salt Lake? Oh, I was. Oh, they went oh, crazy, crazy yes. dude. Yeah. I was so. I don't get excited that yeah. much for skate. You know, mm -hmm. like contests Facts. and everything, but. Seeing all those guys there together yeah. was like, I'm like, so I'm rare. sitting there thinking to myself, like, I don't know if I'm ever going to see this Fast. again. This I was is tripping. incredible. Yeah. Yeah. I was the, tripping out. I was bro, like. Just seeing the footage of that was incredible. Oh, yeah. too. Super dope. You yeah. felt the energy there too. Like yeah. everybody was so like, it was so turned up. Yeah. Like it was like, you, like it was like, I don't know. Bro, I guess the feeling And the was fact crazy. that all you guys Around and the side, Zion yeah. and Ashad and everybody was going crazy. Yeah. Like it was it's one thing. It was, when, no, like, it was like no other. It's yeah. like one thing when the crowd's going nuts, mm -hmm. but when like the crowd and the actual yeah. skaters are going nuts. Yeah, that's different. It is. Totally. He you know, killed it, bro. Who yeah. doesn't want to go see Tony Hawk and friends? Wait, are you talking about the uh, the one in Utah? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Steve Caballero doing the Caballero. <sighs> Christian, Christian Soy, Soy. Christ Air. You know, <laughs> Bob Burnquist. I know Burnquist went crazy, Dude, bro. That'd be so hard, bro. <laughs> I was i was over the moon yeah i was like i couldn't believe this i i never film with my phone i know i'm not a film guy i don't do i don't do this thing at all but <laughs> i was that dude there i was like oh <laughs> shit but i was trying to like film but like watch at this you know what i mean Facts. like i wasn't trying to watch it through my screen <laughs> you're trying to be in the moment it was yeah. incredible it was, it was fucking incredible bro. <laughs> it did look like a moment yeah so skating's going well you're uh you were doing a little contest circuit. Yeah. I like it, you know, doing the street leagues and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, he was. I, I, he was about. To, I mean, you were. You're on the Olympic team. Yeah, right. so yeah, you, right. you were putting in the work. I was in it, dude. Like I was. Like I locked in, and that's you know that that was all I was doing for that you know that time frame of what you know qualifiers was and that road to yeah. you know the Olympics and it was it was fun. You know, it was different. You know, what I mean, for me, it's just you know like I've always been. I've always thrived, and you know, just like. Being able to just go skate normal, no right. clock, just having a session like you know you would do normally, you know what I mean? Because that's how I got into skating, you know, as well as you know I'm pretty sure a lot of people did. And so, like, my big thing is nerves. So like throughout, you know, obviously trying to be there skill level wise, like it was just a process of me just practicing how to like 
get my nerves under control. Like that's like my number one thing in contest for me is I get nervous. Yeah. And once I get nervous, like everything just tightens up and it's a wrap. So it's like just that like constant, just every contest, just trying to like make it normal to where I felt, you know what I mean, not so nervous and like make it happen was like the biggest struggle for me. How but do it you do fun. that? Yeah, like How do you do that? Because I'm practice, sure during maybe? practice, you're all there with your buddies, right? And you're mm -hmm. skating, not really any nerves going on. Yeah. The crowd starts filling up. You're in this like amphitheater, street mm -hmm. league or whatever. And then boom, it's your time to go. Yeah. Like, how do you curb that anxiety? Right. I, I would say, like, one thing I like brought on was, you know, I started listening to music. You know, mm. I mean, I have my AirPods in, so I would like, you know, just jam out, you know, put a song on or shuffle a playlist I had made, you know what I mean? And like help get me in that zone. But it was like just practicing a lot with like my breathing and kind of just yeah. like, like telling myself that I would, it was just another day at like, you know, at a park or another day at the spot and just like trying to relax and not be so mm. like tight, you know what I mean? Just skate how I would skate. If I pulled up, you know, to a park to get a session, right. relaxed on my own time, you know what I mean? Just like not stressing. And so like, I that was my thing. I tried to do every contest, but it was like that feeling like, never went away mm -hmm. each mm -hmm. contest like it just felt like it was all over again like square one like the nerves okay like trying to breathe like get you know what i mean like it's just this feeling of like i don't know it's just crazy you know just like everything that was at stake and where i was you know what i mean i was never like it, i was never far, like far off like i was always right there mm -hmm. so it was there, there wasn't a time where i felt like i was like oh like i'm relaxed it was like no like <laughs> you're neck to neck with like all these dudes and like anybody could go so like it, I was always on my toes. Right. Like yeah. I, I never felt comfortable with that whole thing. I was like, okay, I gotta do this, you know, for these points. I gotta, you know, what I mean, I gotta like at least make it here to like place here. I'm here in the rankings. It was always a constant thing. So like that also came on as like the stress I was dealing with as far as like my nerves already me being nervous. That coming in like amplified those. So it was like trying to get all that under control and just like forget about all that and skate. It was it was challenging, but you know, after everything was up, like I, it was definitely like a good learning, you know, what I mean, experience for me. And and I and I was I was stoked and blessed that I got to be a part of that, you know, what I mean, and take you know the knowledge and wisdom I got from that on, you know, mm -hmm. to maybe the next season or just maybe just to my skating in general if I had to relax and just like you know mm -hmm. I mean, right. skate. But sure, it was it was different for sure. <laughs> it's different. I mean, it's different from even the practice to the contest. Mm -hmm. It's like, I see, you know, and then the prelims, right. And then to the finals, it's yeah. like the prelims is so much different than the finals. And Facts. I'm like, how are these guys all of a sudden prelims is good, right? Mm -hmm. You know, they, everybody's getting in and skating good, but then the finals come around and these motherfuckers are like on point. Yeah. Well, I always, and I always, I'm like, how? I, I, I is always, it possible? I trip out how people do so well in the prelims. Yeah. And then they get to the finals and then it's just not the same, dude. dude it's what are you talking me. about, though? They're dude, turning it, it up in the finals, bro. You'd be surprised when people place first in the prelims yeah. and then they fucking suck oh, ass I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah. I see yeah. what you're saying. Yeah. But, yeah, but, yeah. but it seems like the consistency <laughs> yeah. between like the prelims and the finals, like the it's the finals is way more consistent. Dude, that's Especially a, like in the Utah one that I went to. It was like I was like, what the hell? That's how it is for me. Tripping. It's always like shaky for me getting into finals but i thrive the best in finals okay yeah, like yeah the stress yeah. is gone i right. like you know you're yeah. in finals you're like it yeah, depends. You're like, just go crazy yeah and that's what i'm like relaxed i'm okay I'm, I, go, I feel better but like the qualifiers and prelims that stuff is like where I, my nerves be kicking it, in huh? the most yeah okay but, interesting remember like in the last or tampa that one kid the the, the chiari kid that, oh yeah yeah dude the line he did in the prelims psychotic i was tripping tri i think everyone it was like yeah. the highest score i think of the whole yeah. week but then when it came to finals mm -hmm. it's you couldn't put it together exactly and it's, so it's like some people have different reactions of how it works you know facts i yeah. think so too yeah, yeah it's different different especially what was it Tam you said that was tampa am mm -hmm. that was tampa, tampa pro that was tampa pro that was like a week okay. ago yeah right so it's just like sometimes it's different it, for everybody yeah, yeah. If, if someone kills in prelims but <laughs> You better keep that shit I up, know. dude. Facts, facts. <laughs> yeah. You got to lock in, bro, because yeah. it's, it's hard. You know, sometimes you could put it together all the way through. Sometimes you just have that one or the other effect. But, God, I couldn't yeah. do it, man. I mean, I, I've done Battle of the Barracks before, and mm -hmm. I'm less like, I'm, what, there's like 15 people there. And yeah. I'm just like, oh, like I'm <laughs> tweezing facts. out. Yeah, My legs shit. are all shaky. Facts. Same shit. I cannot deal with that. <laughs> and they're all people I know. It's yeah. like not a, in front of a crowd. <laughs> yeah. It's like Dubs is there, and I'm like, I can't. Like, 
<laughs> like, told, still, you're like, oh, I want to. Dude, it's nervous, bro. Are well, you going to be doing that again real soon? Uh, yeah. I don't talk about, <laughs> I'll still talk about that. Though. But, but uh, dude, you, you kind of came up a, like a real good of your career off the contest, mm -hmm. I feel like, which is pretty rad to see. And then like you got a lot of recognition through the contest. Yeah. And then you're like, fuck that. I'm going to hit the streets. Yeah. Like, but you've been skating streets the whole time. Yeah. But I thought that was pretty cool of a way to get people to recognize you was Facts. you came through this contest mm -hmm. era and people were like, who is this dude yeah. at first? <laughs> but I had been seeing you for days since uh, Phoenix <clears throat> Sam. You know, what's crazy is like, even in AZ is like, I, I skated a bunch of skate parks, you know? And I remember the first time I tried to get on Cowtown, you know what I mean? Like, you know, after I think the first thing was like, oh, you know, like we didn't, you know, they didn't want to put me on because they wanted me to understand what it's like to actually rap or something, not just like want free stuff. And the other aspect was they are like, you know, like he skates a lot of parks, like, like, like let's see him, you know, make a street part. Mm. And I filmed my first street part and they're like, oh, okay, like, okay, he could skate street. And then, you know, throughout that, you know, a lot of my like blossom came from contests, you know, and just being on the scene with that. And it's like, the whole time, like you said, I was skating street, but in the beginning, like I didn't, I w didn't really have a good understanding of that aspect of skating because I just grew up, you know, like skating skate At parks. Park, like I didn't right. know a lot about skating. Like I didn't have, I didn't have people around me that was like, oh, you know, this is like you know, skate. I didn't have a big brother or sister who skated. It was like I was the only person who skated, and to this day, in my family who like tapped into that. Yeah. So I didn't like. Or have I, a big homie yeah, and be like, yeah. hey, dude, like, you should be like... Exactly. <laughs> you watch this mean? video. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, like that. I was going to the skate park, like, after school every day from, like, five or four when I got off to, like, when it closed, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then, like, later on as I got older, you know what I mean? Like, like, I became a part of a group of, like, dudes who were, like, you know, like, in the scene Arizona skateboarding, um, zombie skateboards, and then uh, the filmer, Russ, uh, Russ Powell, who, like, you know, took me under his wing, was helping me out a bunch. He... I was skating around those dudes a lot, and that's when I got into street skating. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And then he gifted me my uh, my first my first skate video was Minefield, like as mm -hmm. like, oh, you know, a gift. Yeah. Wow. And so like I watched that video like every day, Amazing. like my favorite video. It's a good and video. did that and just turn your the inside around for you? Did that Facts. just turn your mm -hmm. the way that you looked at it? Yeah, I, I started seeing uh, like street skating more. Okay. You know what I mean? And like just like just learning that aspect of you know like skateboarding because at Wait first you were going to you were going to these skate parks as a kid with no video knowledge yeah that's what i was yeah. just about to say none no youtube knowledge. i mean none. any nothing but none. was your inspiration then like because just other so, kids so this is like yeah. i got a skateboarding mm -hmm. like i think it was how i got into it too because like in the neighborhood i lived in tucson arizona on the east side like you know, I had a group of friends who I hung out with, you know, it was like whatever the group was activity that was a new thing we were doing, we sure. all did it. And so like, you know, we were playing football. We were we were roller skating every weekend. We were dancing. We were doing whatever. And so when I started skating, like that was a new thing. And then I started skating. And then and like that's how I kinda I got into it. But those homies had no knowledge on what it was. Like like they started skating because they probably seen a random commercial or wow. dude on the street. And that's how, you know what I mean, I got into it. So like I didn't get in thinking like, oh like this is what skateboarding is. Like, these are like pro skaters. These are this. Like, I didn't know nothing. Sure, sure. Wow. And then I, I went moved to Phoenix, Arizona, went to like my first skate parks and everything and like started seeing more, you know, seeing obviously the clothes and stuff, you know what I mean? And like trying to dress like a skateboarder, like not having like any type of knowledge on that as well. Then like, that's kind of how like, I kind of learned like through experiences and like what I saw. Like, I didn't know to type, go to YouTube and type, so and so video <laughs> part amazing. or like you know what i mean i had, i didn't know like you know yeah. my, my come from like the background i came from nobody like i said i didn't have nobody around me telling me like mm -hmm. oh you should know that dude or this is him or like this is that trick like i was just learning i saw something i wanted to learn it so i just you tried just did, yeah. yeah so wait how long had you been skating before you saw minefield uh i probably had been skating for hmm i want to say f Four years. Wow, what? crazy! So you Probably. went four years without watching anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, 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 <laughs> so, so, so you know, what's crazy is like, like, I, like I would see little things like skating. You know what I mean? Like, like the little, like, uh, the little DVDs they would give at like demos and like okay, you know, yeah. the, the paper, the paper sleeves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and like yeah. I had those little like you know videos and like I would like me and my homie would watch them. You know, every once in a while, me and Caleb actually, my my brother Caleb. Oh, mm -hmm. sick. Uh, mm. And like. I kind of knew about that, but I was just so focused on just wanting to go skate. 
Like I was like, I just want to wake up and skate. Like I did not spend any time like trying to watch a video. I just wanted to get better at I skating. I get that. I get that. You like, just want to go and yeah. get fucking skate. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Facts. But that is so like not bizarre, but just damn. I yeah. can't believe you didn't see no videos. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, you would I think like, after like three, four months, six months, yeah. you meet people at the park yeah. and then yeah. oh, you got to check this out and do this. Yeah. And there's this video. You know what's crazy too? You you want the other thing that like really like knocked on my head like to like learn skating is. I was at a street league. This is when they were doing it in Arizona. I think it was the last stop in Arizona before they like left Arizona. And I was on Shake Jump, and Braden Safransky invited me to the hotel to like hang out because you know they were doing like they did the pool party, mm-hmm. and everybody would be chilling out of the pool. And we go outside, and I was at the, I was at the ping pong table, <laughs> and I walk over because I want to play ping pong, so I'm waiting on the side, you know, to play ping pong. And it's Tommy Sandoval and Aaron Snyder, and I didn't know who Aaron Snyder was at first, right? So like I go, but I'm just waiting to play. And I think Tommy, like, Tommy lost. And he looks at me, he's like, you know who that is? And I was like, nah. I don't, I don't know who that is. And he goes, that's Aaron Snyder. Like, blah, blah, you know what I mean? Like, just got on me a little bit. And I was just like, remember, like, kind of being, like, embarrassed. But, like, what just happened? Like, And then, like, after that, I was like, oh, my God. Like, I should probably, like, know, you know, know some what's going dudes, on. Like, yeah, know some of the dudes. And, like, right. ever since then, I was like, okay. I, like, really tapped in. But, like, I... I got in with just like zero knowledge on like any type of sense of direction on you know what I mean like that's wow. funny. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> well, it's also you're also in the middle of Arizona, like yeah. you're not in the middle of like the skate, mm-hmm. like you know there's not an industry really out there that's too big. <laughs> yeah. But what you year know? is this? What year? Like in the first four years of skating? What? what um. Where? So I'm 24. I've been skating for probably like 13 years. Okay. Holy 12 shit. 12 years. 11. Okay. Um. Yeah. Probably around like then. Yeah. Yeah. 10. 11. Wow. Yeah. And in, and when I was skating, like I was still, you know what I mean? Because I like, I played f- uh, football. I was in dance groups. Like when I was moved to Arizona, Phoenix, and I was still skating. Like I was still like, you know what I mean? Doing other doing shit. Doing that yeah. too. So I was like, I was skating and like I was super hyped on it, and I, and I put a lot of my energy into it. But I was also putting a lot of my energy into the other things that I was doing that I still, you know, love to do. You right. know, like dancing, going to like little like night like clubs. You know what I mean? Like with like teen nightclubs and like you know <laughs> dancing okay. and, and chilling. You know what I mean? With my older cousins and so like, but I always skated. But then I didn't like you know start really applying myself to do that until you know I had those experiences. That yeah, like, you're like I got to know who Aaron Schneider is. Yeah, yeah. 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 let me let me go watch it. the uh, everyone's the drink. Everyone's yeah. journey is different, bro. I mean, yeah. Like, yeah. you got to respect that shit one thousand <laughs> percent because oh. at the end of the day, look at what's what's happened and what's transpired since Facts. then. You know what I mean? Facts. Yeah. So th- you started studying <laughs> after that. Facts. Yeah, yeah. You I went did, back bro. and started watching videos. Yeah, and shit. wasn't gonna let that shit happen again. After after Minefield, well, go ahead, Kelly. What was your favorite part in Minefield? Like. Like what's the part that's really stood out oh, to you? Oh, dude, Heath's part. Oh, yeah, okay. The song, <laughs> that back, dude, those, like, those you have in the beginning. Oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Into that Big Bang, just like how it came on. I just loved, like, how, the, like, the intro was. Like, that song just it was always epic grabbed part. me. Yeah, the yeah, epic, sure. It was just so epic. Like, I was always going to turn on it to like, hear that song. I was like, I want to watch Heath's part. You, you know what I mean? Yo, like, that's yeah. kind of crazy, too, because it's such an epic part. Yeah. And, and not having experiences with videos before. Yeah. And then seeing that and feeling... A certain type of Fact, way off that—that totally. that is what. Mine feels a great about. video. It's a great video, bro. Yeah. Great video, Fuck yeah, man, definitely. And so once you hit minefield and started like really trying to, you know, did you start to keep up with like the new shit coming out yeah. and like all that stuff? Um, dude, my like my thing like, Crow Tap was my favorite thing ever. Oh, so yeah, like that yeah, was yeah. like, I loved like Crow Tap everything. Hmm. Like it was just to me, it was like everybody has sauce. <laughs> Everybody was just looked good on a skateboard. It was just swaggy. The clothes were always good. The board, like I just loved curl tap, and so like that's kind of like I just paid attention to like a lot of curl tap stuff, okay. like okay. four star, all that. Like that was just like what I was hyped on, you know. I mean, yeah. listen. Chocolate hey. skateboards. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, hey, the website, did you go on Crailtap.com? Yeah. That was the like, has, like all that. Bro, dude. that website so at one point was like the website to check every day. For sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was super yeah. active. It was Definitely super a lot, active. A lot of good shit going on for sure. That shit was fun to look at every yeah. day. Mm-hmm. And who was it, Megan, that was writing about Or Maza, maybe? Me- it, first Megan, it was uh, Bob Crombauer. Yeah, Bob Crombauer. Oh, okay. And then it was Maza. Mm-hmm. And then Megan would have her column in there yeah. as well. Yep. It was so well written and funny. You're just like, oh, this is amazing. But in all the content as well, as far as the skating is concerned, it's definitely a lot. It slowed down a little bit. They're still trying to do some Mm -hmm. some stuff, but yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I haven't worked there in a while. Yeah. I rode for Royal for a little bit. 
Oh. Yeah, Rudy Johnson. Yeah. Man, yeah. Yeah. I was stoked, bro. I got a roll. I was like, hey, I'm on a crowd tap company there now. Yes. Oh, let's go. Yeah, <laughs> I was man. stoked. Got to skate the, the warehouse when they had the park and everything. Like, Which was, park version was it? Was um, it the... It was the one that... I'm trying to think. So, like, the warehouse, like, opening was on the left. Mm-hmm, and then, mm-hmm. like, the stairs, like, kind of went that way. The park was, like, going that way. So, it was, like, the little stairs and people would skate the bank. Like, they want to skate mm, yeah, the bank yeah, yeah, to, like, yeah, yeah. table a bunch. Like, okay. That okay. set up. Yeah. So, it was kind of... Yeah. They had yeah, the, the order pipe over mm-hmm. there. The Was it the Eurogap thing? Or yeah. The, or the... The gotcha. Eurogap thing. And right. I also skated the park, like, when... Like, I mean, all... Like, I feel like you guys, like, all uh, used to sesh the, the old North Hollywood Park, too. Mm. The North guys, Hollywood, yeah. Yep, yep, mm-hmm. yep, yep, yep. Um, yep. I remember that the time I went there... That was the first time I met Guy. And I can't remember who else was there on that session, but he, like, gave me a, a, a girl board. I think I broke my board or something. I was tray foot from board and, like, the little rail. That was there, the black one. Yeah. Oh. And I think it was, like, him, Shane was there. Somebody else was there. And, like, I broke my board and he gave me a girl board. It was a black one. And it was the model that, you know, had the girl logo. And inside it kind of looked like a, like, graffiti-ish type. I don't know if, I don't mm. care remember what it was, but it was, like, it was like different colors inside of it, but the whole board was black. That's it. I just remember being stoked. Like brand new. Yeah, I think it was brand new. Yeah. Yeah. I went home. Guess set some it up. guy would do. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I was stoked. Mm. Damn man. You still got that board? Uh, <laughs> and I, it might it, may, it might be somewhere. Mm-hmm. I, I tried to throw away like stuff because I like to keep on to stuff like that, but mm. I don't. I definitely. I don't. I don't know if I tossed it. Mm. You you keep a lot of shit. Uh, like stuff like that. Whole like I feel like holds like you know sentimental value right. to me. Like yeah. I like to look back and be like, dang, like. Well, now that you got boards out and stuff like that and shit's coming out left and right with your Mm -hmm. name on it, that's the type of shit I would keep. And then friend stuff too. Like Mm -hmm. if my good friend like JB or somebody would come out out with a board or whatever, I'd I'd hold on to some of that stuff too. Mm -hmm. But there was just so much shit with my name on it, man. It was hard to keep track of everything. (laughs) Wow. You know what I'm saying, Kelly? Yeah, I feel you, dude. Yeah, (laughs) (laughs) yeah. yeah. Um, So... Growing up in, Air- you said Phoenix or Tucson? Yeah, uh, so I was I was born in Glendale, Arizona. Glendale. And then from Glendale, I moved to Macon, Georgia mm. for a little bit. And then from Macon, I moved to Tucson. Okay. And then Tucson back to Phoenix. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So you're but, moving around. But like I that. left, um, when we were in Macon, Georgia, we actually, my grandma drove up and picked us up to go to uh, Tucson for Christmas. And when they drove us back... I just went back with my grandma and my mom, my sister stayed. Oh, wow. And then, and then they later came out, but I went back with my grandma, Tucson, and lived with her for a little bit. Oh. You know what I mean? Then my mom and them came out after. Then we lived in Tucson for a little bit. Okay. Yeah. My grandma left and we left. My mom likes to be close. You know, we like, we like yeah. to be close to where my grandma is. So. Sure, sure, mm-hmm. sure, sure. And then, so you mentioned like getting on like Cowtown and stuff yeah. like that. Was that your just your first sponsor, Cowtown? Oh, no. So my first sponsor was... Uh, a company called Homicide Skateboards. Homicide was, Skateboards. Yeah, wow. Homicide Skateboards. It was a, a like a local company out of uh, Arizona, and they they had like a little warehouse that they like distributed from. You know what I mean? It was like Homicide Navigator Trucks, Zombie Skateboards, and I think some a couple of other ones. But they like they had boards in like a shop called Ski Pro. But that 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 store was like you know, snowboard and all that slash skateboarding type of store. And that's where I would go and get my boards from. Okay. But I was on that, you know, for a while. Um, and I rode like navigator trucks and everything. But those were like like the pop and companies in Arizona at the time. Like, mm. you know what I mean? Like Arizona had, you know, like that like that group of skate, you know, skate companies and you had zombie skateboards as well, which is like they were super pop and it was like a little like, you know, cool, you know, niche and easy skating and yeah, they, they, they looked out for me for, you know, a bunch. Like, make sure I always have boards under under my feet and everything. Okay. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. It, was, yeah, it was it was cool. I had, I, I think I might have, I think I kept a couple of those boards too. And like a couple of little magazine ads I had in a, in a magazine. Oh. It was called the uh, AZ Thread. AZ Amazing. Thread. <laughs> it was a little like <laughs> a little magazine or yeah, like a magazine. Zine. Yeah, really? magazine. Yeah, That's yeah. Sick. And uh, my first ad, I, actually, I was with Russ Powell, the dude I mentioned earlier. And uh, we were at like a ditch spot. And it was a tall, like, white wall. And they were like, D, like, you nose blunt pulling on that wall. Like, we'll get you your first ad in AZ Thread. And I was like, what? Like, no way. And so I, like, did a nose blunt pulling. I started the magazine. My mom has not for sure at the crib. But, I like, after that, that was kind of, like, when I was getting, like, way better. You know, starting to get way better okay. at skating. Like, those dudes, like, you know, like, got me into the rim of, like, street skating, you know? Mm-hmm. I was going a lot with them, going on some of my first trips, like, the youngest, the youngest kid with them, just like little, like little black kid, like with these like group of like dudes. Just like, <laughs> Yo, we're going to Flagstaff. Okay, my mom letting me go because she's just mad cool and like 
just you know like growing up like yeah. fast because yeah. being around older people all that's my life so. funny bro yeah. the az thread yeah AZ you got thread. your little spread in there yeah, yeah <laughs> dude that's funny I, that's a trip because arizona is really close to california mm-hmm. right i mean you know the border of it is but uh it seemed like it, its own little universe yeah. right there they had their, their own scene. little uh mm-hmm. and there's a certain type of skater there. that there's only a certain type there's a certain type of terrain mm-hmm. in Arizona that doesn't really exist anywhere else. Fact. And right. you f- find like a really like creative skaters yeah. coming John out of Lada, there. Yeah, yeah. Like a lot of people. Facts. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of ditches out there. A lot, a of, lot, yeah. of, a lot of ditches. I was skating transition before I like started street skating. Like I was I, hmm. you know, I, I I wasn't a crazy transition skater, but I had some air walks to fakies. Oh, you know what I mean? yeah. really? like, why didn't you pull those out in street league? Dude, hey, I, I used to do them in contests. I think I, I did a couple in a couple of Tampa Ams I was in. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I was, you know, I've, I've hit a couple of Andrax and I was doing those at, you know, my local skate park in oh, AZ. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> I, fun I, with it. Fuck around. Yeah. 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 Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know. It's so funny. Like, and I was, yeah, I was skating transition and then I like, you know, started skating street, but I would say I like started progressing really was when I moved to California because I was like the first spot I went to it was like a hubba but it was like a 10 stair it wasn't a crazy 10 stair but I just remember being like oh my god like this is why all these kids out here are so good that's like you know what I mean like mm-hmm. the the smallest thing here is like an 8 yeah, yeah. I wasn't yeah. used to skating those type of things I was just like man but yeah I've been here for 7 years and you know what I mean like after after that, it, it definitely helped with my skating, like, you know, leaving Arizona to, like, see other, like, terrains. Sure. Why did you leave Arizona? Did you want to move out to California for skateboarding? Yeah, it, it it was my dream to, like, move to California. I mean, I was, you know, I was, when I got on, started getting on companies, like, bigger companies, I would say the first company I got on um, that was, like, bigger, you know, out of, like, aside from Arizona companies was like Vox mm. and then I got on, I got on Crew, like, Flow for Crew okay. through uh, Steve Clare. Mm. Um and I started, you know, coming out, you know, I would, I would, I would actually go stay at Steve Clare's crib, you know, for like a contest, like a San Diego Am Slam. I would just stay with him and, you know, like come out here and there for summers with like friends who lived here. But it was always my dream to move to California because I knew like skating was like, you know, dope here. And like I wanted to, you know, my whole, you know, years of education and, you know, my mom, they wanted me to graduate. So they were just like, you know, like you can, you know, like just graduate and after you can go. But there were so many times where I thought about, like, you know, if I just do online school, you know, like, I could just, like, move there faster. But I was like, nah, like, I'm going to just stay, you know, walk across the stage, you know what I mean, graduate, mm. you know what I mean, high school, then leave. So I waited. And then after I graduated, I, I think it, I had a graduation party that weekend. And then I had a damn am in Chicago. So instead of getting my flight back to Arizona, I had them get it straight to California. And I just went out there with, like, a duffel bag and, like, 300 bucks I saved That's from, it. like, working at a mall job when I was in high school. Where'd <laughs> like, you go, though? Uh, I moved to Koreatown and I stayed at my friend's sister's uh, apartment with her. Um, and it was me, him, her, and her little daughter. And her, she made her bedroom like a, a studio because she made music. And, oh, the li- wow. and the living room was her bedroom. So she just, you know, let us boys just, you know, invade her space. We lived there for a minute, you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. rent free. And, you know, I wasn't in the scene. I didn't really know anybody. I, I was actually seeing, like, Jerron randomly a bunch. And I remember, like, he would always ask me, like, yo, like, you out here now? And I was like, oh, like, I think when I first seen him, the first time I was, I seen him at, like, a diamond a, uh, event mm-hmm. at the diamond store. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yo, I'm, like, fully out here now. Like, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to, like, you know, figure it out, like, you know, get in the mix and everything. And I didn't really, like, I didn't know anybody. Like, I was just, I was chilling on, on Fairfax from, like, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Because, like, I was on Diamond and Grizzly. And the homie who, like, I got on through, uh, Sean Lyles, yeah. uh, I was just staying at his crib, too. So, like, I would go there and just chill on the block all day because I didn't know what to do. And, you know, skaters were all up and down the street. You know, the golf store was there. Yep. Like, it was when, like, it was, like, you know, the old Fairfax. So, it was, like, vibes there. And I had no problem with being there because I didn't – I had to have no plots. So, I was, like, right. I was going to chill there all day. Yeah. And then, yeah, after that, you know what I mean? Like, just trying to go hard, you know, in film. And, you know, after two years of that, like, I started getting, you know, more settled in and, like, you know, meeting people to skate with. But it was, like, a constant just, like, it was a struggle, but it was fun, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I was just trying to figure it out. Like, I had no clue of how to get around in California. That's so But I just funny. left. And but you and, stuck with it, bro. Yeah. Like, and really yeah. Found, yeah. You know, found your path, bro. Facts. Really. Yeah, yeah, and like you said, you had Vox. Um, who else did you have back then? Uh, I had Vox, Crew. Crew. Um, Homicide Skateboards for a little bit, then I got on Dark Star. Dark Star, mm-hmm. okay. And then, like, that was, like, my lineup for a minute. And then after that, you know, things just start Like, Nike came up because... Like Oliver Flores, mm. so Oliver was always going AZ for Phoenix Sam's because he was doing like like the deluxe booth, you know, and Nike stuff. Yeah. And Steve Clare would always ask me like, 
yo, if there's any other shoe company you want to be in, what would it be? And I was like, Nike, Nike, <laughs> Nike. And then, and then he was like, okay, I might have, you know, I might have a friend that like, you know, might be able to give you some Nike stuff. And then one year Oliver was there and he introduced me to Oliver. And then like Oliver was like, yo, like, if you, you know what I mean? If, if you ready, I'm ready. And I was like, dude, what? Like, are you, I'm you asking ready. me if I'm ready? Like, <laughs> shit. I'm ready, ready man. <laughs> After that year at Phoenix Sam, I can't remember which year it was. Um, he, he got back home, sent me my first box. It was like two pair of shoes. Like I had uh, a, all royal blue and like white swoosh, like costing ones. And then it was like an all black with white swoosh, uh, like team edition. Damn, he remembers. Yeah. 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 I was That's so, a big thing. Yeah. yeah. I was, yeah. I was so hyped to go to the skate park in Nike's. I was like, oh, I'll pull up to the <laughs> skate park. I was, like, fresh. I was yeah. like, yo. Yo, but even then, even then you probably didn't, even, you, you wanted them to last as long as possible. Oh, facts. Like you're trying sure. to like not. But let's go back to the Dark Star and Vox thing. How did that, those even come about for you? So Vox came up because um, this girl, Taylor Woods, who was a rep for Soltech, lived mm. in Arizona. She worked for all those companies. And like I knew her through like, you know, a lot of contests. You okay. know what I mean? And, you know, we were like, you know, we, like, we're, you know, we were fairly close. You know what I mean? And she looked after me. And so she started flowing me for Vox. And I was on Vox for a while. And Dark Star came up because I think it was after my first year at Phoenix Am. The year before, I couldn't get in because they said, like, I didn't have, you know, I was a nobody and I didn't have, like, enough corporate sponsors. sponsors. Yeah. And, and so, like, I had to I chill. And the next year I got in, um, I think I made it to finals. And I think at the end of it, I either got, like, ninth or 15th place or so, I, I can't remember one okay. of those. And after that, like, you know, people hit me up to, like, send me boards to try. Mm. It was Dark Star, Death Wish. And that, that those might have been the only two, I think it was. And... I was hyped on the Death Wish boards and like I loved the graphics and I was stoked on it but like a lot of people were just like oh you know like you're like you know like you're kind of super young right now like that I don't know if that's like you know like the best you know route you should go or like get on Death Wish but like you know what I mean like yeah you know it's sick like they sent me boards and Dark Star sent me boards and I tried the Dark Star boards and like I was like oh yeah I like these boards too and just ended up going with that hmm. and then I was in there for a minute you know what I mean like started going to California hanging out with Chet Thomas and stuff and Luskin all those dudes and then I don't know how long I was on Dark Star for. I was I was on there for a good amount of time, okay. and then that's not like that's kind of how those those things came up. It was like kind of through like that, like you know, the box was before, and then con the Dark Star and everything came up like mm. after contest. That's an interesting move. Not to say that Dark Star is not good, mm -hmm. but when you have somebody like Death Wish, yeah. you know, Baker. Facts. I mean, huge legacy there. Mm -hmm. Like again, Dark Star as well, but. Yeah. You know, it's interesting that you went in that direction mm -hmm. instead of the bigger direction, so yeah. to speak, you know. Facts. Mm -hmm. um, did you not feel comfortable with, like, the death wish and how it... Like, what was going on in your mind right back I then? I was, like... I wasn't super clueless. I, like, knew what was going on and okay. I knew the difference. But I think I really listened to people telling me that, like... You know, maybe it was, you know, you're too young to go there right now. Mm -hmm. And that's that's the last thing I took from how I made that decision okay. was off of that. It was like, you know what I mean? And, and there are people that were like fairly close to me, not like right. friends and family. Like there are people who were like flowing me stuff, you know what okay. I mean? Like, you know, who I talked to about, right. you know what I mean? And it was just like, dang, like, you know, like, you know, they obviously know. Mm -hmm. so Wait, my, how old were you? I'm not to cut you off. I was probably like, mm, my first year in Phoenix Am, man, I was probably like, mm, eight nine like i don't know like it had to be like no no actually to the back probably like 13 14 okay, okay. I, I think that's when i skated my first phoenix am maybe still around young. there still yeah. young the best yeah, still, yeah. Yeah. yeah i mean they give you flow and then they see kind of mm -hmm. how this is going to transpire right. so I, but i understand like totally like you know you if you don't understand yeah exactly like what these board companies are about and the yeah, whole deal then right. you know i love sure, sure. i love going to or a uh, phoenix am and seeing you every year and i'm like oh i was when i saw you i was like oh this kid's got it and seeing you go through, like, they were like, different sponsors year after year. It would be like, you had Dark Star for a minute, and then weren't you on Element for a second? So I was flowed through Element because of a contest. I won, I won a Make It Count contest. I think the final was at the Barracks one year, and it was like a year flow of Element. So, oh, yeah. okay. So, so that's how I was on Element. Yeah. But wait, so you were still on Dark Star then? Or no, no, no. I, uh, I was off Dark Star by then. Okay. Yeah. What happened with Dark Star? Um, I can't. Oh, okay. That's what happened. <laughs> so I went to Tampa one year, right? And like, I literally like, I hadn't talked, you know, to Chet in forever. I hadn't talked to James Craig in forever. I hadn't got boards in like a long time. So I didn't know. I was like, oh, like, 
like maybe you know maybe like they, they you know like they're not flowing me no more like they're not trying to mess with me no more so like when i went to tampa i just took it off my list i was like i don't like i don't i don't know what's going on like and so after tampa i uh they were like they were super bummed that i did that and i was like dude i was like i had no idea like i tried to be you know tried to been getting bored like i didn't know what was going on like right. i just took it you know what i mean like i would never just go and like take it off my list just to fish you know what i mean I, sure. I just literally didn't know like you know from from where i come from i don't know i'm yeah. still learning like yeah, that's yeah. something you know but it's also the communication no exactly communication, yeah, yeah right? facts so so i went and i took it off my list because i was like oh maybe it's rapster like i don't you did know did you mean? reach out to them like yeah. and they yeah. never reached back yeah yeah okay, I, I, so I, I yeah. do the same yeah. thing yeah, yeah. I, put in, I put in an order to get boards hmm. and like i didn't hear back from anybody so i was like oh like that's crazy and i think i was like skating some other board because i needed boards so yeah. i was like oh okay like you know maybe like it's a rapster and I remember like James hitting me up after and he was bummed on it like, I, and I remember telling him too I was like yo like you know I, like I hit it up like maybe like the email got shuffled I don't know what happened I was like yeah I, like I reached out to get boards like I didn't know what happened I thought you know like I was clipped like I didn't <laughs> right, know like right. and then like I don't I can't remember what happened after that but I, I end up remembering like I wasn't on Dark Star for a minute I think I was just riding like riding the boards maybe like buying boards mm -hmm. or whatever I can't remember like like how, what I was doing for boards and then um I was skating the element, make, the element Make Account contest. I was a part of that series. And then I won the finals at the Barracks one year. And that's how I got the flow for Element. Mm. So it was flow for a year for yeah. Element. Mm -hmm. What did that entail, like a contest like that? Is it like a certain amount of boards a month? Or is it, um, did, did, did they have it planned out? Like what you're going to get for that um, year? So I, like, they kind of was like whenever I needed boards, I think it okay. was. Yeah, it wasn't anything until. Um, and I wanted to, like, I wanted to ride for Element. But, like, yeah. I, you know, I got to a point to where, I, you know, I was asking them. It was like when the Sovereign thing came up. Mm. And I was like, yo, you know, like, be like before I even brought it up, I was like, yo, you know, what's up? Like, I just want to know, like, you know, like, like where I stand with LME, you know what I mean? Like, I want to, like, ride for LME. Like, I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the Sovereign's, like, you know, hitting me up about riding for them, too. Like, you know, like, what's up? Like, and then they're just like, oh, you know, we don't really, like, you know, have plans for you or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, so, like. You know what I mean? Like, pretty much like, oh, like, you know, like, you should, like, you know, right. go do that. Well, and so listen, I was like, at least there's a conversation there. Yeah, yeah. facts. Yeah. So that's yeah. great. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. I always, when, like, I make any type of move or anything, like, I'll always, like, take the initiative to make the phone yeah, call and, yeah. like, talk and talk before just, like, being just reckless and just, like, just dipping, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like, I, I like to make sure it's, like, I don't want no cool, fine yeah. print and no, like, I like to be 100% about, like, what's going on. And so, Beautiful. like, yeah, I just reached out and just made sure, you know, they knew that that had came up, you know, mm -hmm. that it was a possibility and just, you know, like talk to them about what, you know, they thought about me and plans they had. And it was, you know, clear that there was like really no plan. So I was like, all right, you know, I'm gonna go do the sovereign thing. And that's mm -hmm. kind of like how when like when I got off element, you mm -hmm. know, to ride sovereign. OK, mm -hmm. really quickly, though, we'll get into the sovereign thing. But going back, Vox, Nike was in the picture at sovereign. Uh, point yet or yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. flow for nike for so a when your buddy was like oh we may have uh you know and they sent you the two shoes mm -hmm. and everything were you still getting vox no or you were done with yeah that? i was done with vox okay yeah, yeah. okay uh -huh. that's a pretty big leap that's a that's a big leap yeah, and, and, it's a big, yeah. yeah. i think vox yeah. could probably understand yeah uh, you know yeah. Like, but oh. you weren't even with vox though when the nike no, uh, thing so what happened with the vox uh, i think uh so taylor wood stopped working for vox yeah, yeah, she that was. was your she connect. wasn't what. Yeah, that was my connect. That box. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is all, this is all flow. Yeah, you all were. Flow. You were. Yeah. So up to this point, you were never a part of a company full yeah. on. Yeah, never. Okay. Never. Okay. It's getting good. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Right. We're working towards because this. listen, as a skater, I think we all just want to be a part of something. Facts. Right. And mm -hmm. you've been through a few board companies, mm -hmm. right? And I've talked to you at certain points in time. I'll Facts. see you, and I'll be like, "Yo, man, just." You know, you're going to get on something that you want, right? Facts. Don't don't just settle for yeah. mm -hmm. A or don't settle for Z when you want to get A. Facts. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. we've had that conversation. And I'm so glad yeah, mm -hmm. that you are on a company now Facts. that you really fucking like. And I feel yeah. like you're flourishing. Bro. Appreciate it. Appreciate okay. it. Legendary company. Bro. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, yeah. For real. Finally bro. got that feeling, man. I never. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and that's I, great. I never had that feeling. That's I've great. always wanted, you know, I've never been on like. Never been on tours. Never got to be in the van with teams. Like I just never had that feeling at all. Never. That's like, so crazy. So it was man. like now you know like finally get to have that and just feel you know what I mean like oh like it's a team like you know I have a you demo like here like I net like I nothing right neither like with right. any company I've been on never mm -hmm. had that feeling. I mean, Nike like, is probably it's up there, but it's at the same time 
a board company is it's kind of it's a different vibe yeah, right it's facts. it's kind of closer it's more family mm-hmm. i feel like than like a shoe brand shoe facts. brand could be family as well no you know no uh, hang out with people and all that For stuff sure. but the the board company is really yeah. you know it's that's the your, core that's it's your, the core of your sponsors exactly. you know? yeah, yeah absolutely so totally. vox your hookup left there yeah and then so you had no shoes yeah what were you were you just buying um, shoes are we getting flowed um so you know what's crazy is that I actually skipped the part. <laughs> so for a minute, I wrote for this company called Eon, right? Mm. Was, Eon. Yeah, it was called Everything or Nothing. And you know what's crazy is that... So I don't know if you heard of the grocery store Bashes. No. Mm-hmm. So it is an Arizona food chain. Is the, the family who owned all the grocery stores, they, they started that company. Mm-hmm. And it was like a big company. It was like me, Trey Wood. You know who Trey Wood is? Yeah, so of Trey, Trey, Wood oh, yeah. Was, Trey Wood was on there, okay. me, him. And uh, we wrote for that for a little bit. You were for a grocery store chain. Uh, the the board company, the <laughs> sons of the owners of the. I got company. you. Yeah. And that board company was called what? Eon. Eon. <laughs> okay. Everything okay. okay. I was gonna <laughs> say everything. Okay. Arizona got their own shit. Hey, they did. Yeah. yeah. I know. Yeah. Magazines yeah. and all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> man, they make it work. Yeah. Easy yeah. Red, Eon, yeah. man. Yeah. I, yeah. I, yeah. I don't know but nothing yeah. about Zombie, this. Bro. Bro. All yeah. this shit. I'm but learning a lot today. Yeah. yeah. They but they they hooked me up like like they supported me like because you know at that point when I was on them too, I like you know I didn't have any of that anymore. So like they were buying me shoes. You know I mean off the strength of just taking care of me. You know I was never the kid like. I need this, need that, but they were just like, oh, like you know, you need like, well, like get your shoes. You need shoes, like right. okay, wow. you know, what I mean, I'm down. Like they took care of me, you know, for a while. It was like you know, Tyson Basha, Preston Basha, and uh, like they feel, you know, what I mean, like they helped me so I could just keep focusing on skating. Right, and then that's you know, dope. that's when you know, I went on to everything we we're talking about. But mm. I forgot about that little part in there, and that was like obviously an important part because that like time that like they supported me, like also contributed to like me being able to like you know skate and progress and And that's important right so when you're on eon i mean are you on cowtown at this point and all that stuff you never got on cowtown no i didn't get on cowtown until 2015 oh wow the exact day i graduated high school the exact Mm. so you graduated high school you got on cowtown yeah he called me that day i was like yo you know like trent he was calling me like yo you know i was wondering if you have time to come around the shop you know we so we could chop it up and i was like yeah like i can come down and I pulled up and we just had the conversation. He was like, yeah, you know, we want to put you on Cowtown. And I was like, no way. Like, what? That's right. That's right. He and must have saw your ad in, in <laughs> his thread. Yeah. <laughs> he saw the, the, the nose blood <laughs> pulling. nose blood pulling. That's amazing though, right? Mm-hmm. So I like the trajectory, dude. It's like you're going from these like Vox and Eon and these little companies, right, that supported you. Yeah. Which is incredible. And then... Were they, what, what were they buying? They were buying you shoes? Yeah, like shoes and, you know... Clothes. Like at the shop? They yeah, were yeah. going in and just... Mm-hmm. What were they doing? Like they'd go in with you and just you pick out some shoes? Yeah. Uh-huh. That's like shoes, wow. you know, keeping shoes under my feet and, you know what I mean? What were your go-to shoes back uh, then? So I was skating uh, half caps for a while. Oh. And then I went to uh, the Jerry Hasu, America, the mid-tops. Ooh. Okay. Uh, all black with like the little red hit go. in the back. Damn. I love that shoe. <laughs> that shoe was so <laughs> good, dude. That's nice. That's sick, and I got bro. into that shoe because I rolled my ankle. And I was just like, I need a shoe that's gonna help me not roll my ankle again. And I like that was the first shoe I saw, and I was like, that shoe is swaggy. Like I need that shoe. And I, I literally got that shoe. Like that was my shoe for a long time. Nothing but Jerry Hasu's. Really? Yeah. And that was a vulcanized shoe too, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. You don't really skate the vulcanized really anymore, huh? Uh, no, like not really. Like no. yeah, yeah. I I used to, but. What, uh, what are you skating out? Dunks? Yeah. Dunks. Only only dunks. Only dunks. Only dunks. Okay. Okay. Why? What's up with the dunks? And Man, the... It, you know what's crazy is I was skating like other shoes for a minute. You know what I mean? I was dipping and dabbing. I was skating. Uh, what was the shoe I was skating? I can't even think about the shoe I was skating. I, like I would skate gymnastics for a little bit. Okay. And, like I would like you know I would go all over the place. But then blazers? I stopped. Yeah. Uh, blazers every once in okay. a while. Okay. But then I stopped. I tried dunks, but I stopped skating dunks because I was like, I can't, no board feel. Mm. And then, like, le- you know, later on, and I, I was telling myself, like, yo, like, if, you know, if, if I'm skating, like, I should be able to skate, like, any shoe. Like, you know what I mean? It's not, like, I can't blame the shoe. I want to get mm. out of my head and not say it's the shoe. Like, I want to, like, start skating dunks. Like, mm-hmm. and so, my bad. I started skating dunks, and uh, I was like, okay, l- like, let's try it again. Put on a pair of dunks, just started skating, didn't think about not being able to feel my board, and it just, like, it just, like, clicked. And I was just like, yo, like, I you just love gotta get shoe. used. You gotta yeah. get used to it. Yeah. Yeah. A little adjustment. Because exactly from a vulcanized shoe to a to any cu- cup sole, yeah. it just takes that time. Yeah. Yeah. Facts. Yeah. yeah. It it's real. not that it doesn't have board feel. Yeah. It's just you're not used to the board. Exactly. Feel. Yeah. yeah. It flicks a different way. Yeah. Everything, yeah. everything works yeah. differently. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But I like that mentality. Mm-hmm. You know, like it shouldn't be the shoes. Yeah. I mean, it, it should be me. Facts. That that 
is in control. Facts. Yeah. Right. And, and once I did that, I was like, literally, oh, that's the only show I've skated like the past years. Like, I mm. only dunks. I tried. Uh, Nike had a shoe called the GTS Return. It was okay. like a, the model after like they made it after the Air Max ones. Mm -hmm. um, that shoe was cool, just a little on the thinner side. Mm. And so I like I tried it for a little bit. And I just went like back to dunks, but that's only shoe I skate. Were you making sponsor me tapes at a, at any Dude. at any point? <laughs> you what know what's crazy is I I made <laughs> one. So the first part I came out with, um, uh, my homie Joseph Nicholas uh, filmed in Arizona. That part that I filmed. Oh, uh, okay. Uh -oh. This, 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 sorry, this, <laughs> sorry, because not because because it was like two situations where like I I did a sponsor me tape thing. So at that remember that that pool party I told you I went to at uh, Street League, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm in the jacuzzi with Sam Smythe and, and Mike Carroll. And, <laughs> <laughs> Look at how that you started know, out. No, no, there no. We go. And you know what's crazy? I think Gerard was right there too. Actually, uh, I'm okay. not gonna lie. Hmm. So we're in there and Mike and and Sam like like they were just like, I think Braden too. Like like they were like oh like like they were talking about me being on Dark Star. And I was talking to chop it up with Sam and, and they were like, dude, get this dude a real board sponsor. Like, like get like, come on, like Sam, like hook this dude up with a real board sponsor. And, and I and I think it was Sam and Jerron. I know I, I think it might have been Jerron was like, no, like, you know, like don't like, like, you know what I mean? Like, like let him do something. Like, he happy that like, I understand. He's being loyal, like he's being loyal. Cause I was like, oh, you know, I just got on Dark Star, like I don't wanna, you know, leave, like, you know what I mean? But like I had this had this at the same time. I had Sam like trying to give me his card to get boards, and I was like, you know, I don't want to leave. I just want to like be loyal because that was like preached to me a minute, we were, you know, a long, uh, a lot when I was a kid. Right. Yeah. So my whole thing was like, okay, like I don't want to be jumping sponsors. Like I, you know, I just got on Dark Star. Like you know, Trent from Caltown that like you know taught me that lesson, mm -hmm. and I was just like, okay, like I want to do this, but like I don't want them to think I'm just like you should have been like, yeah, you know, just jumping stuff. Card, man. But yeah, I know, I know, I took I that right there. No, I took the card. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I took the card, but it was just funny because I remember that like Braden was on it. He was like, "Dude, it was like, yeah, Doctor's cool. Like, get this dude a real board sponsor." Braden. It was just Sam. Yeah. It was just Braden Sam and Mike nuts. right there, and I was like, "Dude," and I think yeah, Jerome was right there. He was like, "Yeah," he's like, "I think no, I do I, remember yeah. that." Yeah, like he, Jerome was like, "No, like he like he's right. Like you know, he he just got on. Like he's being loyal. Like like that's cool. Like respect but I, I respected that. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, you don't like want to have that reputation like in the, in the industry. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, unless you, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I probably would have been like, you know what? I'm like. I'm gonna <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, you guys chill with him for a while, and like he skated with him. Then mm -hmm. it'd be like, all right, cool. Like Facts. he's a part. Of, he's skating with the crew. Mm -hmm. But if this right there and there, that there, like that would be weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But you hear the hot stuff. Yeah, get off. They're probably yeah. drinking and, and shit yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus, <laughs> it's a small industry, man. Facts. Like that gets you, back. You'll, you'll, they'll, they'll hear about oh, anything. Bro, that would have been time. lingering. I would have yeah. still heard about that to this day. Like that would have been on my resume for sure. And that was one thing I was like, I can't do that. And I mean, I'm glad I have people like Trent. You know what I mean? and all my other peers around me that like taught me that lesson early because like that is something I do consider you know with any move I've ever made in my career is like you know what I mean just trying to make the next move my best move and just staying you know somewhere yep, you know what I right. mean and I haven't you know what I mean I, I haven't left like I've left a couple of companies but they haven't been at levels of like okay I was like fully on something but like like they were all like okay you know when I was leaving Royal to go for Thunder mm. I called Rudy and Rudy was like okay like no like dude like I totally understand. Like, I think you should go try different stuff. Like, I did it a bunch when I was coming up. Like, no, I'm stoked for you. Go. Like, that was like one time, the sovereign thing, mm -hmm. and I and I can't remember what the other one was, but I never really did moves on like a bigger, like a crazy scale, scale like you know, like a business, a toy machine. Like, I've yeah. never done that. So, like that, that that last one that just happened. Like, you, from you consider ahead. that yeah. like yeah. the big move, like yeah. like business of code, a toy machine. Yeah. Okay. Because you know, right, it was right, at a right. point where I'm like. I'm, you know, grown mm -hmm. and like, I'm like aware of what I'm doing and aware of like the, you know, the levels of these companies and who's, who's behind these companies. And so it was more than just like little kid, like, oh, you know, it was like, no, like I have to really have these phone calls. Yeah, like I have right. to do this the right Definitely. way. Like I respect and love these people. Like, and it was just like way different than what I was doing when I was like 12 <laughs> yeah. 13 well yeah. dude you had the whole sovereign thing mm -hmm. and like that was oh, big yeah. too Yo, that was, oh yeah that one was pretty big too cause yeah. that was what, what What happened there with that one so so that one okay that one I you know I I, I could be honest when I, when I tell this story cause it wasn't even anything like super crazy but I was getting to a point where I was like you know like I felt like I genuinely like you know like I wasn't happy like mm. <clears throat> With, you know, like the direction the company was going. The people a part of it, I loved. Like, you know what I mean? Love Ryan Adal, you know what I mean? Alex, you know, all the homies who were a part of it. 
But I just like felt, you know, I was getting to a point to where I was just like, I feel like starting to like really identify who I was and what I like, you know, was a fan of and like, what, you know, where I wanted to take my career. And I just felt like I got to a point to where I didn't really feel like the brand was me. Yeah. It had nothing against the people a part of it. I just felt like it, you know, it just wasn't me. And so, you know, I, I was a little nervous, you know, doing that that day too. And, you know, the first person I called was Ryan, you know, the filmer, you know, I I had... I've had the closest relationship with him out of anybody who was a part of the company because I was filming with him, you know what I mean? I knew Ryan when I moved to L.A. And so I called him, you know, and he was just like, yo, like, you know, I told him about everything and he was like, what? You know what I mean? I was like, yeah, you know, I just like, you know, I'm just, you know, just wanted to be honest and call, you know, let you know how I'm feeling, you know what I mean? It's just like, I'm not like, you know, super stoked right now. And he was just like, dude, like, he was like, if you're going to quit, like, you need to like do it right now. If you wait, like you're gonna put you know us in a situation where it's like you know what I mean. Like it's gonna be hard for us to bounce back from. Because yeah. I think they're like gearing around getting ready to turn me pro. Oh, so he was like, okay. if you're gonna quit, like you know you need to like do it now. Right. And so I was like, all right, man. I was like, oh. I was like, God. I just got off the phone with him, and I knew who I had to call next. I had to call Steve and Mikey. Okay. So I was like, oh. I called Steve actually, and I was like, yo, like you know. Like, I couldn't even really talk at first. I was like, oh, like, you know, I'm just calling, like, let you know, like, you know, like, I, you know, I don't, you know, want to, like, you know, I'm like, don't want to really, like, write for Sovereign anymore, you <laughs> it's know? It's a hard thing to yeah. say. Like, like, yeah, and and, like, and yeah. I, I'm sure I said it in a better way, but, like, I was just like, you know, like, I, you know, I'm not, you know, I just want to, like, you know, try something else, you know, I'm just like, you know, it's not you, it's not anybody, the company, but it's just, like, just the company, like, mm-hmm, this is the mm-hmm. brand, like. It's like I'm, where you want to go and where yeah. they're going, this isn't a line. Yeah, like the facts, image, yeah. the image and the, you know, because they are very, yeah. you know, imagery based. <laughs> yeah, and facts. It's, it's a, it's a, they, they have their art direction. Yeah, facts, right? yeah. Yeah. And, no, and it was, you know, it was, like, it was dope, but it's, I just felt like it wasn't me, you know, like. Yeah, you know, the conversation was here, you know, he got like, you know, like, you know, bummed or whatever, you know, dealt with all that. And then, you know, he was like, he was like, hold on, hold on. He was like, he was like, he's like, I'm three away Mike. I'm three away Mike. And I got a three away Mikey. Okay. Mikey Taylor. Yeah. Then he threw away Mikey Taylor. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I was like waiting for the phone to ring. He got on the phone, so it's up, but then I had to do it all over again. I was like, yeah, like, you know, I'm, you know, trying to quit, you know what I mean? And, you know, it was, it was, it, they were both bummed, obviously, mm. you know what I mean? And, and for me, I was bummed myself, you know? It wasn't something I was doing or I was, like, hyped. I was like, you know, like, these are, like, dudes I like, enjoy being around. Like, I enjoy skating with them, you know? At that point, like, I, I think I lived at Steve's... No, no, I wasn't living at Steve's crib. I thought I had moved out. But, like, I, you know, was skating with these dudes. Like, that was, like, the first feeling I got of, like, a team feeling, you know? Gotcha. I was going on trips with them, you know what mm. I mean? And it was like, dang, like, I felt crazy, like, trying to leave. Like, I never yeah. did it, but I knew... You know what I mean? I, I kind of have a problem with, like, like trying to be, like, make sure people around me are happy before, like, I, you know, make sure I'm happy. Mm-hmm. So I was trying to just be be more honest with myself and, like, just, you know, like, stand on, like, how I really felt instead of just, like, you know, not saying anything and just being on something and not being hyped. Because not only was it, you know, selfish to me, but, it was, you know, it was, it was it was selfish of me to do that to them if I wasn't, you know, yeah, hyped on something, sure. you know? Right. And so I was like, I have to do it. Like, I have, you know, I have to just, like, do this. And I did it, you know what I mean? And I had no, like, no intentions. Like, I hadn't, I didn't have anything lined up. I, mm-hmm. knew where, I knew where I wanted to go. Right. But it was no for sure, you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So I was just like, all right, you know, I'm going to quit and just, like, just chill. Like, I'm not tripping, you know? And, like, you know, I made that call, you know, handled that or whatever. And after that, I just, like... Did my I didn't have anything lined up for like years. Yeah, I didn't have board company. I didn't have a board sponsor for like two or three years, I, which is crazy yeah, to me. Crazy. Mm-hmm. But what did Mikey say? Was he oh. just uh, what did he? <laughs> you were waiting at the interview. Yeah. What did Mikey? Say? Yeah. I know, I know. No, 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 I, no. I, I, we all know Mikey. And it's like, <laughs> I, I wanted to know. Like, yeah. I know. Like it was. <laughs> So he was just like, he was like, oh, he was like, I, I can't remember exactly what he said, but I know he said something like, I, like, I think someone like, I don't get it. Like, you know, what's up? Like, I, like, you know, like, what's up? Like, you know, are you like, it's like, are you talking to somebody or like someone? I was like, no, like, I, like, I just, like, I'm just genuinely not, you know, like, it like, doesn't I, feel yeah, right. it doesn't feel right. Like, mm. it's just the brand's not me. And, and I, I, dude, I said it, I don't know how many times I said, like, <laughs> it's not like, it's not you guys. Like, it's nobody, it's just like the brand. Like, I was like, it's just the brand. Like, yeah. it's just not me. And like it, you know, what I mean, like they were just over it. Like I think, I think, I think Mikey said something like, like I, I, I think the car was like, you know, I still want to skate with you guys. You know what I mean? Like hang out, weird. And then Mikey said something like, oh, you know, like I, like I just don't like, you know, what I, mean? I just don't like understand, like you know, what I mean, like you know, like us skating together. You know what I mean? Like I just like it, like I don't know, like how I can, like you know, what I mean, like like what you know, like kind of like yeah. what I can help, like like how like us yeah. like being right, you know what I mean? And I, I don't think he meant it in like. 
a bad way. He's I probably think, frustrated. I, yeah, 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 yeah. He was frustrated because Mikey's the best, and like we're like, you know, we're all like still close or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. it was the heat of the moment where it was like, dude, like I was just so nervous and like I didn't process anything like they were saying. I was just like, bro, like I'm just trying to like do what I know I wanted to do and say what I wanted to say, and like I hear it all, and like I'm stressing right now on the phone call because I'm having to tell you guys this. You know what I mean? And, but yeah, it was yeah, like. Yeah. I had to do it, and you know, like they were bummed, and like obviously there's more stuff said, but I don't want to like. Right, right, right. Well, I, yeah, yeah, well yeah. dude, that's yeah. like in their in their mind, that's their baby. Exactly. Yeah, you're fact, saying, right. yeah. hey, I don't align yeah. with what the way you guys are building your baby. Right. Yeah. And before you get so in deep, like turning pro for them, yeah, that getting deeper and deeper, right. I'll yeah. stop that before it's a big thing. Like, yeah, let's. I want to do my mm -hmm. own thing. And plus, at the time, that I mean, their their team. I mean, you got Midler, you got yourself. Yeah. Like they're they're growing this thing, and then all of a sudden, somebody wants to exit. Facts. And they're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. This you is, ain't fucking with the baby no this more. Is kind yeah. Of, yeah. 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 Baby? yeah. A lot of yeah, a lot of emotions in there. Like you know, obviously, you know they. They obviously they could tell you how they said everything and stuff, and there are reason why I don't want to go in details because I obviously I would want them to be to defend themselves, but like yeah. it, it was it, it was a crazy time, and it was like it, I think it was hard for them to wrap their head around me like wanting to make the decision because I had been you know so invested in it, yeah. and it was like you know like we skate every day. Like, we go on trips, and it's like for me to come out and be like, you know, I'm not happy. I feel like it was ran random to them, but at the same time, for me, it kind of felt like a like a boiling point because I feel like I, I was hanging on to like those emotions for so long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And for me, it didn't seem random, but for them, because I hadn't said anything in totally part field. of, yeah, part of it was just off of me, just like so nervous to do so. Like mm. I didn't know how to do it. And mm. I didn't, and you know, like, like you said, like that was like the first time me making a move on that level. So I was trying to process the best way. To, man, I, I called everybody. Like I called Paul, I called PR like, yo, like, you know, like this on film, like, I don't, you know, like, what do you think? You know what I mean? Just cause like, I knew, you know what I mean? I had talked to my agent and my agent was the same, is represented him since he was like 15. Mm -hmm. And so, and I talked to her about it and she's like, you know who you should call? Like Paul. Like, yeah, he, like yeah. you know, he's done it before. Like he'll, and so I called him and, you know, he told me to make sure I did it the right way. And I told him how I was going to do it. And he was like, no, like he was like, you're doing it the right way. He was like, yeah, like, you know, I've done it before. Yeah, it's going to be, you know, some, you know, some tension, you know, people are going to be upset. You know what I mean? It's not going to like be all peaches and cream but he was like it's you know that's how it is it's like ripping a scab off you know what i mean like yeah. it'll it all go by but he was like the way you are going about it is the right way yeah. yeah and so like that like helped me like get confidence enough to talk to them about it mm -hmm. and then like that's kind of when i proceeded to like make that phone call but like it was hard like man like it it was so hard for me because i was so scared like i didn't want like a, or like something like stuff to be out there about me that wasn't true or like me have a, like a rep of like oh he's quitting this like i was just like stressing about making that phone but call but you're obviously yeah. i mean you're obviously like a genuinely nice guy yeah, it's yeah. like you don't want to like have people mad at you Facts. or like all this stuff too mm -hmm. yeah but but holding on for too long you don't want to do a disservice to you Facts. and you don't want to do a disservice to them so Facts. it's like you got to like you yep. said, rip the Band-Aid off and move on. Facts. Exactly, Facts. exactly. Yeah. And it's funny because the outside looking in, mm -hmm. we see, oh, man, Deshaun quit. Yeah. Oh, he must have got something out. And then months go by and nothing. And then a year goes by yeah. nothing. And then another year, it's like, what the fuck? Like, you yeah. just, like, we think looking in that you have something lined up maybe. Yeah. You right. know, but. And pe dude, people were like, Man, I heard it from all types of angles. You know, like, and, you know, when I did it, I didn't speak on anything. You know, because, of course, there was, like, whatever was going around. I was like, I'm going to let, you know, whatever gets out there, let those dudes, like, talk, you know, do their thing. Like, I yeah. don't care. Like, I know what I did, you know what I mean? And I know, like, on my end, how I handled it. So, mm -hmm. like, I'm just going to be quiet. And I, I let things float for a while. And nobody knew my side, you know, and how I was until, like, you know, years after. Because right. I was so just, like, closed off. Because I was like, bro, like, I just, like, I don't want to, like, deal with anything right now. And so... Like, after, you know, a couple, like, years went by, you know, people were just like, what is he doing, you know, what board companies he getting on? And I had nothing lined up, and I was just like, I just got comfortable with the fact of, like, yo, like, I knew what I want. I was holding out for the right thing, because mm. I promised myself, I was like, yo, the next time I get on something, it's going to be something I'm, like, hyped on. I don't yeah, want to yeah. get on something and have to do this all over again. Right. Yeah. So I waited for, like, three, I don't know how long, three, I was skating concerts without a board sponsor, like, people were... Like yeah, but bummed, like you sort of blow up after you like how did was you got in through Tampa yeah through Tampa yeah that's right you got in the street mm -hmm. through Tampa then yeah. you started fucking shit up yeah. <laughs> appreciate it was yeah. anybody hitting you up to ride uh, for him no 
Really? No. Yeah. No. You know, I I, I think the the last Tampa I skated was on a sovereign board. I think I quit right after that. So okay. that's why it was even like, uh, it, it was even more even random and weird to them that like I quit right yeah. after. They told they totally thought like <laughs> I was like on some up, like oh yeah. like I won like I'm trying to but it was it was the total opposite of that. I just was that's genuinely funny. like bro like I just you know. I just wanted to just get off of that feeling of like not feeling stoked. Yeah. What, how did Nike take that? Like, cause you went through what? You said two or three years without mm-hmm. a sponsor? Yeah. What was Nike's stance on like, yo? Because I know like sometimes you hear yeah. contracts so like you have to have a board sponsor and blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. Like, what, what did Dude, they say? It, it, was, <laughs> it was a lot of like question marks and all that because in the midst of that going on, like, you know, I had talked to Scuba, you know, and, you know, and Casper when, you know, when he was there and everything. Mm-hmm. And it like, it, it there wasn't really any like things where it was like oh you know you need to get a board sponsor like this has happened like like there was no pressure of anything like okay. they understood it like they didn't care like they were like yo we're gonna support you no matter what like they like still have my back 100 percent yeah so i never dealt with like the stress of like oh i need to have a board sponsor and that's another reason why i was so like relaxed about yeah, it it was like i didn't ha- i wasn't catching heat from like you know my other sponsors everybody was like oh you know what like whatever we're not tripping like you know like we're still gonna like support you and so yeah, that whole time that, like, I was just kicking it, you know? Like, I wanted the right thing to happen, you know? And I talked to Scoob a lot during that whole period about everything, you know what I mean? And so, like, it was just, like, a matter of me, you know, just standing on, like I said, what I believed in. You know, I just, and I promised myself to be 10 toes on, like, what I was going to do. And yeah, that was yeah. to, like, not just say yes to something or jump in, in another situation where I was, like, not happy. Yeah. And so that's why I stood on it. You know, I was like, I don't care what it is. Like, I'm not going to do that to myself again. Cause I, I try to avoid conflict, conflict at all costs. Like, oh, yeah, totally. yeah, and yeah, to yeah. me, like have, yeah. like having to do stuff like that, like quit things. And you know sure. what I mean? I'm like, I care a lot. So it's like, I understand from both, you know, points, points of view of like, you know, the feelings that person feels of me leaving and like, and what it did to them outside of, you know, my beliefs and stuff. You know, I, I put a lot of people before me, you know, have majority of the time. So it's like, I don't ever think like for me all the time. I'm like, Oh, like I think about some and I know how that person can be affected by it. And I, and I try to take the necessary steps to make sure. Yeah. You, know you think I mean? of other people first, yeah. man. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of the same way, you know, it's mm-hmm. like, uh, I think you did a great job maneuvering through all that you know thank you um to kelly's point like nike you know it's like we're kind of in a different landscape nowadays yeah board companies aren't really the you know you have to have that to have this Mm -hmm. you know back in the day yeah board company to have that dude if you were like on girl back then or chocolate and you had like you wrote for dc and you got kicked off girl you're probably getting kicked off dc you know what I'm saying? Like to a, to degree, a certain degree. To a degree to a, for sure. I mean, they they sure. would be pressing you yeah. to get a board sponsor, probably. Yeah. yeah. Right. Depends. I mean, I you think, guys, I, you guys yes. didn't have to deal with that, but yes. like, I think to a degree for sure. It I depends think depends on who you are. Yes. Yeah. I, I think that would be the case. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, it didn't happen to too many people. No. I feel like when Robbie got let go of deep, of girl. Yeah, that thing. They no, were like, he quit girl. Yeah. Well, then they're like. <laughs> Yeah, you're not well, right then for you're, DC. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it was different back then, right? Yeah. It was. It was. And, and Which is a beautiful but, thing to see now that you can sustain a, a skate career and just have a shoe sponsor. You know what I mean? Right. And be they can take be, care of you and take care of you and yeah. be it be a Nike probably you know one of the top tiers that you want to be on in this mm-hmm. situation mm-hmm. to kind of help you get to the point where obviously you two or three years that's a long time <laughs> i mean and right. it's a beautiful and thing because shout out to nike for allowing you to do that because there was no pressure on you to get a board sponsor Facts. if there was a lot of pressure on you to board to get a board sponsor you may have just chosen yeah. something again that you're Facts. not even stoked on Facts. and now you'd be in the same exact position you mm-hmm. just were came out of totally. Facts. so to have that two three year buffer to really explore and just do you. Yeah, be carefree, yeah. like you said. Like yeah. it's a beautiful thing. Fuck man. you. No, yeah, it's a beautiful it was, thing. It was a bro. It, you know what's crazy is I swear, like people looked at me like I was an alien. Like I didn't have a board sponsor, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I caught so much heat in those couple years of people like he doesn't have a board sponsor. It's crazy. Like, well, you're so fucking good like, though. Yeah. That's what it, that's Appreciate what people. You're on. winning contests. You're yeah. like one of the number one dudes in street league. Appreciate it. Yeah, for and then, real. Like, people were like, what, what's the deal here? Yeah, people were like, bro, it was so foreign to people. And then, you know, I tripped out because then it's like. It got to a point to where a couple years later, like people were quitting companies, being pro for companies just to have no board sponsor. And mm-hmm. then it was like something normal. But I remember when I, I was doing, everybody was like, he's tripping. Like, what? What? Like, and I was like, bro, like, I'm not. And I think people tripped out 
on my response too when they asked me like about it. And I was like, oh, you know, I'm just chilling. Like, you know, I don't really like, you know, I'm not really like stressed about it. Like, I think people tripped on that too when mm-hmm. they asked me about like the board situation. I'm like, right. oh, I'm just like relaxing. They're gonna be like, oh, but yeah, I'm just like. And I'm just chilling, like I'm not like trip. Like, well, yeah. how did you get bo- what boards? Were you riding during that? So, um, at one point, uh, the homie Tim, who was running Friendship out of the barracks, Friendship mm-hmm. Skateboard, Tim Olson. Yeah, yeah. He, so he was giving me yes. boards for a little bit. So it, and you know what's crazy is, <laughs> I love it, Tim. It, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. yeah, damn you, Tim. <laughs> I'm always hearing something fucking something dope about you, bro. Yeah, Fuck. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tim was giving me boards for a while, and it was funny too because it, it was a little weird because you know, like that same week after I quit, you know, it was. You know, in shorter terms, like, so you guys can understand a little bit understand, because obviously, like, you guys know it was obviously more that was happening. It was a lot of stuff that was done and said that affected me. And, you know, I was hurt, and it was a whole thing that went on for a minute with all that stuff. And, like, I, like, blocked it off, and it affected me a lot in my skating, you know what I mean? And that's why, that's why I was so closed off, and I didn't mm-hmm. speak on it, because it was just so much going on. But, you know, Tim was giving me boards, and that same week I quit... Like, I was still going to the barracks. I was yeah. like, oh, like, you know what I mean? Because I was like, oh, I did it. But I'm such, like, a family-oriented person that I was like, oh, like, no matter what, like, like I felt like it was still family. Like, I don't, I'm still, I'm still going to skate. Like, I don't feel a certain way. I'm not going to go skate. Right, like, the right, park, right. like, whatever. Like, I'm not tripping. Was there tension? Sorry, was there tension at the barracks if you went and skated? Like, oh, I can't go skate the barracks anymore because of uh, and shit. Um, yeah, like, like, that was definitely in the air. But like I said, like, I... I I was just like, I'm still going to skate anyways. Yeah. Like, even, it was awkward. Like, Steve would still come in at some point, or Mike was on a session there, or whoever was there. Like, it was awkward. And it was, like, kind of, like, slightly trying to avoid each other. But, like, you know what I mean? It was a lot of certain, like, points that it was like that. But it was, like, me, I was, like, just trying to forget about all of it and just skate. Yeah. yeah like, yeah. I knew it was there. And, you know, time only time was going to be able to, like, dictate when that, like, yeah. rolled out. But I was like, bro, it is what it is. Like, you know, until... Nobody physically told me like I could not go there. I was just still gonna go skate. Like yeah, I didn't yeah. I wasn't tripping and so I was getting Tim was giving me boards for a little bit and then after that then like Jim was keeping boards under my feet. Okay. Just was there any conversation there or it was just Um same thing, like, you know, I was like I uh, you know, talked to Jim about it, but it was like same thing, like, oh, we don't really have a plan for you, like blah blah blah, you know, like this, that and I was like, All right, like I understand and so like just like Mac and just like, you know, right. just kept it pushing but mm-hmm. yeah. yeah he was just keeping boards under my feet but it's awesome man yeah think, time heals all wounds as facts, well yeah. you know facts. So. i think i think still at that point people were still waiting to see your street shit yeah i really do think yeah, so because yeah, yeah. we all knew your shit like mm-hmm. i saw you with my all dudes got the contest yeah. but when you drop the when you drop the toy machine part yeah oh. it's when you shit it on everyone yeah. so <laughs> yeah, anyway. straight up i was like yeah, no there doubt. it is dude no doubt, the, the, the no doubt about it this guy, yeah, right there. yeah <laughs> pre- no appreciate it yeah I, I felt that way too because you know i dropped a couple parts like on the barracks or whatever but i knew like i was holding on to that part for like probably like two years oh and really I, like that part was supposed to come out like Right, like was supposed to be like my my part for I'm at pro for business. Mm. Oh, okay, but, like everything got messed up because you know. So I started filming that part during contest season, and me and my homie Joseph, we started off with the rip of like, oh, like let's just film anytime you have off like in between contests, and just like if it turns into a part later on, it turns into a part. But let's just like stack footage so you have footage. And so any little like week off, two weeks off, I was just like going hard to film. So I just had footage because I knew. Like, when the Olympic stuff was going to start, it was going to get crazy. So I was like, just let me have a part so I can, like, put it out. And so, you know, all this stuff happened when I went pro, you know, timing and board stuff. Obviously, like, everything got, like, swapped around and, and uh, off timing. But I was sitting on that part for, like, the, my interview came out with the tricks, like, the beginning of the year was it, I went pro. Yeah, because, like, it was sprinkled that I was writing for business, but nobody really knew. Mm-hmm. And then I sat on that part, like, that whole year – and it came around until where we got to a point to where like you know like like I was chopping up a mic and that like came became a uh, opportunity and then we were just like oh like Michael like, you could do whatever you want with the part obviously like, we'll get to that conversation yeah, but yeah, yeah. he yeah. was like you could do whatever you want with the part but like if you want you could just use this as that like as like you know getting on toy and I was like oh dude I was like no Brandon like, let's just get this footage out Damn. like I had been sitting on that part for literally like two years that's wow. crazy bro yeah. <laughs> front nose nolly back heel at the courthouse oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> fuck that Woo! you stepping Thank up you. to my ledge baby what's going on <laughs> oh, man you took the cake right there no? <laughs> listen <laughs> hey <laughs> it's funny because like I listen I, I there was a time where front noses man I love, bro I 
over the grade in Milan, mm -hmm. and I was highly considering. Well, I don't know about the nollie back heel out, but <laughs> I would have tried. <laughs> and there was a time I was considering, like, dude, I got to front nose that fucking mm -hmm. thing, you know, because I could sit on them good. Facts. Front noses are interesting, right? <laughs> You're either learning back, you slide this way. Facts. You have, when you want to sit on it, you have to be standing well over it, mm -hmm. right? And you have to, it's like a different kind of slide. Yeah, facts. And you really got to be comfortable up facts. there, mm -hmm. you know? So. But I had him down, you yeah. know. And then here comes fucking the show. <laughs> dude, how a little long? bit later, but like that was, yeah. dude. Thank you. Yeah, that was so cool. Thank you. Not many people have stepped to that ledge. Mm -hmm. And I'm like not that. saying that it's a star, but not that. Yeah. I mean, Tori back tailed it. There's been a couple nose slides. Well, maybe a few other little things here and there. grind, maybe. I, I, yeah. When I saw. When you started sliding front nose, I was like, damn, you front nose that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. And, and then you nollie back heel. I was like, what the perfect. Fuck? Yeah. And did it perfect. Every, I saw like KB gave you a five, but I was yeah. like, if I was there, my head would have exploded. <laughs> yeah. Like, I think I, people that, that watched, they couldn't believe what you just did. Did that you know? take a long time? Were you there um, for a minute? So or? I originally front nosed it and then. Uh, to fakey the or forward? Yeah, to fakey. Okay. okay. And then the homies were like, like, yo, you can nollie back heel out of it. And that, on that session, I was like, oh, like, I know, but like, I. I don't know, like, I'm just, I'm just going to keep front nose, like, I'm happy with it. And then it was getting to a point to where, like, you know, all the dates and everything changed for, like, the part when it's supposed to come out. And I had more time to work on the part, mm. which was, like, a blessing in disguise because it was, like, yeah, dates got messed up, but it actually gave me more time because, you know, that part, we were trying to put that part out right before I went into contest mode. Oh. But things changed, and so it gave me more time to work on it, and sure. I was able to swap some things out that I knew I could have, like, you know, done a better trick there. I did this, and so... At first, we had the front nose in there, and I was just thinking, you know, when it got to a point, I was like, oh, like, maybe I can, you know, maybe I can nollie back heel out of it. So I went to the park, and I was just practicing them on that long ledge, like, you know, the old park. Mm -hmm. And I was like, doing them, got them, you know, got them back, like, nollie back heels out. I was like, it feels good. And so that I told the homie Joe, I was like, yo, like, let's go tomorrow. Like, I have the <laughs> trick right now. Like, I'm down to go try it now. And I went back, and like, it just worked, you know what I mean? Like, it, like, a couple of them I was sticking and stuff. It took me a little while. I was sliding, like, Doing the front nose wasn't the hard part. It was like just like being able to like position to like get the nolly heel out. Yeah. yeah. So like I was like sliding, you know, like I was sliding out good, but it was just like trying to like aim it to get that perfect nolly heel out. Yeah. And like yeah. that, like I had a vision in my head how I wanted to land it. And like I ended up like landing it how I wanted to land it. So want I was Dude, like, yeah, fuck yeah. So I was like, I was <laughs> super did. stoked. And like <laughs> it, it took me a little while, but it was like I had like, you know, I'm also like I've been a huge fan of like front nose lately. And like I like, I feel like how I learned my tricks, like, you know, recently or just like the past couple years of skating. I remember I was skating with Paul one day at the barracks and he says something like, it was like, you ne like you don't really have a trick until you can pop in and pop out where you want to. Okay. Oh. And so after that, like, I would go to the park and I would try to, every trick that I had, slide or grind, I would start at the beginning of the ledge and just try to hold them. Got and you. so like, I mean, even on the flat bar, like I do every trick from the beginning of the flat bar. Like okay. I don't, like I just try to like, you know, learn how to hold them and be able to like, you know, do stuff out of them. And so after that, I feel like that's kind of how it unlocked that like way of like oh. learning how to like mm -hmm. hold slides and stuff. And that that's why it felt more like possible to me to like try it, you know? Isn't that funny? Mm -hmm. Just like one little comment from somebody can mm -hmm. like change your whole outlook on Fast. how you do yeah. that shit. Especially mm -hmm. P-Rod. I know. Because yeah. yeah. the only thing that's scary about the front nose, listen, that ledge... It happens a little more often on more, maybe a little more, more rounded, but when you dip down, sometimes it can slide out. Oh, facts. And that ledge is no joke. It's tall at the end. To have that happen. Yeah. yeah. I got wow. bited a couple times. Did you? See? <laughs> yeah. Like sliding out, because you know it gets taller. Yeah. So like the middle to the rest of it, like it's kind of tall. Bro. <laughs> so oh, I was yeah. like sliding yeah. out, ending on top of it. And when I tried it, it was a whole like mansion up top. Like, you know, homeless Oh, yeah, the homeless in encampment. Right yeah. there. Yeah. yeah. Like, they had, like, literally made a mansion there. It was, like, crazy. So, like, I was, like, trying to avoid falling over into that right. and, like, slipping out and, like, mm. sticking and ending up on top. Like, yeah. and, yeah, it was, yeah, it, you know what I mean? Like, you know you're in that trick. Like, you kind of have to, like, like, get a lot of patience. Because, you know, you get into it and you get eager. So, yeah. like, once you get in the right one, like, you kind of have to, like, relax and, like, you just, have... like, slot. You know what I mean? 100%. And so, like. It was just like getting in, into tries that allowed me to like shift so I could like be like that in the trick, you know? The, mm -hmm. the, the way that I felt about that ledge, like when I nose grind did it, I felt like if I could get halfway, mm -hmm. ah, okay, I just needed to go a little bit faster and I could get a little bit farther Facts. and I could almost get to the a, a quarter of the way to the end. So I felt like that was a good judge for me to yeah. be like, oh, if I can get halfway, oh, I can, I can just 
take one more push Facts. or two more smaller push. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Get that little more speed and then ride it out. Isn't that, that ledge is like, at the beginning, it's a little rough. Yeah. It's a little rough. And mm-hmm. halfway through, it looks it looks perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like perfect edge. Well, because probably. everybody skated it off just the four stairs. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, it's it a great trick, man. Thank great you. Great ledge, bro. Thank you. I was it, always tripping why, and I don't know, I always say this, but I was always, always, always tripping why nobody really was fucking with that mm-hmm. ledge. And then I saw Tori, you know, you'd see the no side of the crook or whatever, yeah. but then Tori backtailed it. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, fuck Gnarly. yeah, dude. And then, and then it kind of like died down again. It's kinda, I was just kind of tripping why nobody was really messing with it. Yeah. It's, it's kind of it's a good ledge. It's a good ledge, but it's not that easy. It's like, not it's the w- best approach. It's bro. really we not. We got a curve in both yeah. sides. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I get it, but I think like, a lot more stuff can be done on it. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, like a Tiago switchback tail. Bro. Mm-hmm. And then... But that's still fucking gnarly. Yeah, you gotta yeah. go dumb fast. And make dumb fast going like, on. Yo, but you, if you yeah. last ledge, if I'm that thing is there, do it. You could probably do it. Yeah. Yeah. If that yeah. thing is buttery, bro. All yeah. you need to do is just get up there and 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 sit. Yeah, yeah it's it always goes. that that ledge always goes. It goes. It's funny. I seen. I think it was Carlos <laughs> Rivera Rivera, uh-huh. and uh, I seen him after like that came out, and he was like, "Dude," he was like, "You know what?" He was like, "So crazy, you know?" Because a long time ago, I told Trent. He should try that. And he was like, oh, I want to try it. Then he goes, that came out. And I went to Trent and I said, that, that could have been you. <laughs> <laughs> that totally sounds like Carlos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Totally yeah, sounds yeah. like Carlos. And I was like, bro, I was like, you, I was like, Carlos, you crazy. Bro, I tell so you what, man, funny, Carlos so is low funny. key, low key the funniest dude. Dude, he Super funny. is the funniest, best dude on and off the board, bro. He is one of the best skaters ever. And the yeah, funny yeah, thing yeah. about that dude hands down one of the best bro but he you gotta listen to what he's saying yeah like he's low-key funny bro yes. he does like do the funny shit but yeah. the shit that he says yeah bro, super witty <laughs> when he's I not in front of the camera guy. i feel like he when he, with his boys yeah he starts oh my dude shit. bro he's, like him and p-rod oh together my gosh. like the banter of yeah. those two together i'm like this is fucking gold bro, bro. <laughs> like they go in on each other yeah. like like heavy That's so sick. but it's all love yeah, yeah. right it's yeah. so good yeah it's so good Carlos is the best bro I, <laughs> i'm actually about to go skate with him tomorrow dude, oh, dude where yeah. are you guys going uh to paul's park uh, yeah, yeah, a little, yeah, little early yeah. session okay dude he's been going they've been going mad early yeah bro. yeah they yeah they be in there paul loves to skate early like you That's call dope. him he's like hit him when you get up oh you're gonna go skate yeah i'm actually going right now I mean, but he has, you know, he has his whole schedule dialed. He has sure. his daughter. Yeah, he has, yeah. so, you know, he got to get his session. Why you got to get his session? Even when, um, who was it that was here last? That, uh, Manny. Manny. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They were get, doing a 7.38 a.m. session. Oh, yep. yeah. Like, Damn. Yeah. They get okay. it in. Did yeah. you go meet him? I couldn't make it. Okay. <laughs> 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 I, might, I might pull up tomorrow. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you yeah, 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 always got to say, hey, 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 pull up tomorrow. tomorrow. <laughs> what time are you going? Uh, I don't know yet. He said early, so he said he's going to hit me up. So he probably text me. Before the days over, he's got kids right. now too. Yeah, so he's mm-hmm. you know, yeah, he got a couple of them. I know. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Congrats to that dude. Twins. My mm-hmm. my uh, Andrew, when we seen him, he was like when he told us he's about to have twins. Uh, we were at, I forgot where we were, what kind of we were at, but he tells me and Andrew and Andrew goes, hey. Nice knowing you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I say, and I, I told Carlos, I was like, yeah, I was like, man, it's gonna be so crazy, bro. I'm about, you know, next time I'm talking to him, I'm like, man, yeah, like. Carlos was a legend, man. <laughs> he was a legend. <laughs> and then he just started dying laughing. Man. The thing with Carlos is crazy. He's like, he could have all that responsibility, mm-hmm. but he can, if he needs to handle business, yeah. Oh, yeah. just done. Turns oh, bro. It, it, he has a great family dynamic. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like his wife is really solid. Like, they, like, their, their dynamic yeah, of their family system. is really solid. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. It's very important, mm-hmm. especially for kind of the stuff that we do. Facts. You know, skateboarding and stuff, going on tours. Mm-hmm. I mean, sometimes, you know, you can go on a month long tour. Yeah, and you get back from a two week tour, and you go on another three week tour. Yeah, you yeah. know, and like having a family is yeah, very difficult. Yeah, you got to sure. have that that strong support. Little ones, for real, little for ones real. too, like yeah. little. So we did touch on you know the sovereign, and then from there, no sponsors mm-hmm. for a long time, two three years. Business and Co comes into the picture. How did all that come in? I mean, Mark Johnson, legend. Yeah, I love what he's doing over there. It's just like. His it's, mind is so. It's like his unique. mind as a brand. Fact. Yes. <laughs> it's like what so he good. wants to put on boards. I mean, that's why. I mean, enjoy. Look at mm-hmm. what he did over there. I mean, Facts. so how did that even. How did that conversation even start? So, Tori, 
actually, T Puds, you know, he was always bringing it up to me when I saw him, like, you know, about me not having a board sponsor. Mm. And he actually brought it up to me. He was like, oh, he was like, yo, like, I think it'll be sick, you know, like, Brad, you know, doing uh, skate mentoring. He's like, I, I think Mark might, might be starting some, like, other than this, or like, you know, I'll be doing something. I was like, yo, I was like, when I first heard that, I was like, yo, whatever Mark's doing, tell him I want to be a part of it. Because, you know, like I said, like, I'm. I'm a huge Krell tap, like I'm like yeah, yeah, Krell yeah. tap fan all day. So like all you know, all all of those dudes, all you guys like my favorite skaters. So mm-hmm. I'm like, yeah, like if Mark was something, that would be sick. Like I'll be dope to be on some, you know, dope and start up. And so that's how I was seated in. And um, Tori was like tapping in with him a little bit, but it was still distant. And then you know, Mark reached out probably like two years or so, mm-hmm. like a year or two after okay. that. I was like, okay. yo, like um, I know you. It came up recently, you know what I mean, with Tori, and. uh, um, I know you mentioned something about like wanting to be a part of you know like what I was doing, but like you know I, I'm finally reaching back out because I'm finally back on this side of skateboarding. You know what I mean I dealt with a little bit of troubles the first round around, but you know I'm finally getting my bearings back. And you know he was like, I, you know it's, it was going on with real. You know what I mean I know Jim's giving you boards. Is, is there anything over there? And I was like, oh no, you know like like it's all clean. You know what I mean like nothing's going on over here. Like you know it's, it's good. Mm-hmm. And he was like, all right, you know so we chopped it up. Like the first you know the whole time we talked, like we didn't talk nothing about like getting bored like, it was just like straight genuine to genuine like you know just conversation about like life and like you know just skating yeah we didn't talk about getting a box of boards out until like the very very end of the conversation you know it was just we just kicked it off and so you know like that's kind of how it started you know what i mean started giving me boards we started becoming like you know super close and everything and you know chopping it up and yeah that's kind of how my intro to business was okay okay and then uh they ended up giving you a board Turn yeah. pro mm-hmm. for biz. Listen, Mark Johnson turning you pro. Yeah, it's a big pretty, stamp right there. Uh, Facts. Pretty Federal. big stamp. <laughs> Very valid, yes. valid stamp. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah man. wow. Yeah. So that must have been a huge honor oh, as well. Facts. Was there facts. a lot of discussion leading up to that about turning you pro, or was it? Did he just kind of work on something and then showed it to you, or how did that work? Um, it, it wasn't really no discussion. Um, he. He, uh, him, my friend Joseph and Andrew, they all worked like kind of closely to like, you know, make that happen mm, for me. You know what okay. I mean? And like, I was totally oblivious about what was going on behind, you know, mm. my back with that, you know, being a thing that they were planning on doing for me. And so like they planned, you know what I mean? Like the party, you know, where we had like the going pro with the roller skating rink and everything. And, um, up until that, like I'm still oblivious, you know what I mean? Like they, after it all happened, they dealt with like, they, they thought I knew okay. or I had it. I did because when we pulled up. So that day we 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 know we link up. We go and eat at you know this place called Shaq's Big Chicken. Have you had that Shaq's, Shaq's Big, Big Chicken? No. He has, he has a chicken sandwich, a restaurant. Amazing. What in the Valley? Yeah, Valley. He, he has one in Vegas. I think he has one in Glendale. It's super good. What? Wait, Shaq's Big Kitchen in the uh, Valley? Sha- yeah, Shaq's Big Chicken. Big yeah. Chicken. Where at? Where at? Uh, I think it's in Glendale. Okay. So oh. good. That's it's not the so, Valley side. So Shaq is yeah. everywhere, bro. I know. <laughs> he talk about good man. Lord. Talk about legend. That's, 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 a, that's a business man like no other. It's still going. Yeah. yeah. Like, okay. Um, but we, we went to eat there. We we're skating. You know what I mean? I like. I'm thinking. You know, we're just chilling. I, they told me we we're going to a roller rink, but to film a skit with Uto. And, okay. it, it, and it and it was believable because it had already been a conversation around the crib because you know we're all living together at this point. And we had talked about going roller skating and how funny it would be to like teach you to ride a roller skate. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I was like, all right, bet like we're going to roller skate. I'm down. Like let's get it. You know what I mean? Pack my skates in the car. You have skates. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh-huh. Bro. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So so we go. You know what I mean? We pull up. You know, eat whatever after we eat. Like okay, we're going to roller rink. So I'm like, all right, funny. So we go and I'm like not even like you know normally I'm trying to like fish and figure out something if, mm. if something feel weird to me. You know what I mean? So I'm like, all right, whatever. So I'm just relaxed because I think it's all for you though. So I'm like, all right. So we get to the roller rink, you know, there's no cars. We see D- uh, David Lloyd in the parking lot. And I was kind of like, oh, like, that's random. Okay, like, maybe. But then I was like, oh, maybe he's just in a skit or whatever. Like, yeah. it's just random. So then we walk in. And I'm not paying attention. You know, we're at the front. Like, we, you know, we're getting situated going. Like, you know, we're paying the skate. I'm not even, I'm still not paying attention to nothing. And so, like, I kind of slightly, like, I, like, you know, look around. I see nobody roller skating or whatever. And, like, I kind of see somebody with, I kind of with the camera to the to left, but I'm still not thinking. I'm thinking like, oh, like they're filming us walking mm, in for the skit. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. And then after that, like, you know, like after we pay and everything, like everybody just pop up. And <laughs> I see Mark and like Dan, everybody. And I'm like, what's going on? I see Scuba, Eric pulled up, like all these people pulled up. I'm like, what? Like, what's going on? I'm like tripping, bro. And you know what I mean? I, I walk up, you know, I see my mom, you know, wow. my, my, my Kayla was there, you know, my best friend. Um, like all these people, you know, I got homies who pulled up and so I'm just tripping like, 
and then they, you know, they they bring out the box, you know, marking them, you know, bring out the box, and then, like they give them the boards, and I open it, I start looking at it, I start crying, like you know, the whole thing, yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like I'm just tripping or whatever, and then like, yeah, and then we just kicked it off, you know, finished roller skating, had a little roller skating party, and then after that we went and uh, we actually premiered the part, the one that I just dropped for the toy machine mm-hmm. thing. Um, at Black, like like a low key private premiere. Oh, wow. mm-hmm. But the tricks in that were still the, just the front nose and all that, you know okay. what I mean. But the part hadn't come out; mm-hmm. it was still like you know under wraps. And so, yeah, we went there for that. Um, was super drunk, obviously to celebrate. <laughs> and then, Turned yeah, up. like that's kind of how the whole pro thing, you wow. know, went. You know, going pro, but it was cool. Like I got like, they, like they gifted me some dope roller skates, which are. Oh yeah, right, right there. there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my homie, my homie Andrew went crazy that on those funny, ones. Like, I was yeah. super stoked on those. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, yeah, we roller skated the rest of that night. Video, little video premiere well, after. Okay. Well, how did the roller skating thing, bro? Yeah. Mark see, Johnson? Yeah, but like, <laughs> leave it to Mark. Yeah, but I didn't know you were that like good. Oh, on roller that skating? Shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, you got style, bro, and you're dancing. <laughs> shit. I was like, yo, okay. It wasn't. He's like, got his own skates. Yeah, I mean, he put his skates in the car. Yeah, he backed up. What? Well, when did? When did this start? And what? Like, and you kept going with it? Yeah. So me and my older sister. Um, my older sister Deanna, uh, we roller skated every single weekend, like like every weekend, Saturday, Friday, like and then we would go and do all nighters, like where they would you would go at like seven p.m. and you were there till like seven a.m. Wow! And like and like you would amazing. roller skate, you know, take the skates off, Kick everybody would go dance, yeah. and then they would go back to roller skate, and we did that every weekend. She was always <laughs> she was always the roller blades. Okay. I was always like four wheels, gotcha. and so like why 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 not the roller blades? I don't know. It was just some like you know when I was going, I would see people on four wheels, and like they were just always jigging on four wheels. Yeah. And, I, and, I just, <laughs> and I just wanted I wanted the four wheels, yeah, like, yeah. and so I just got into it, and it's just been something that's always just been with me like i love roller skating i I go out here i was going to world on wheels a lot but the world on wheels is not there it's like a super Mm. like it's a staple in california like one of the roller rinks like og a lot of people has been there like famous people and stuff it's like towards like venice area like i think it is um do you ever go down to the um in the Venice right bro, here? Bro, I've thought about going out there with my skates. <laughs> Dude, the last the time I was there, there, I saw them down there getting it. And I was like, bro, I think it'll be funny to just pull up and just go crazy. That would be crazy. Yeah, I thought about people, it. People go to the skate park like, what? Is that Deshaun? Yeah. <laughs> bro, they got, they got routines and all that. They I do. love it. They like, do. I'm so like, funny. I'm bro. I'm so into like that type of stuff. Like roller skate, music. Like, bro, every, like those things, like they just like, they just take me to a place when I'm doing it. It's like I'm skating and, and I love just like vibing and music and like, you know, skating. And that's been a part of me for so long. Like I do it to this day still, you know what I mean? That's and so like, tight. I love, you know, what's crazy is like, it's always been big, but like I've been seeing it like even a lot more now. Cause like, you know, I was in it where I was going all the time and obviously it was skating a bunch. Mm-hmm. And now like, I've been seeing a lot of roller skating too. Like people like just getting it in on the mm-hmm. skates and like, yeah, I see it everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I went to a little pushing, uh, uh, pushing for pink event the other day that gary put on like in this like lot and like people showed up you know they had like a little quarter pipe and okay. ledges and, and girls showed up on roller skate and i was like yo like yeah. th- like dropping on the little mini map and i'm like yo that's beast that's like right. yeah. i love roller skate you know, right? I, yeah. I loved it i was skating down there it was not too long ago and you know how like you know, where you would skate that long ledge it goes Go out down, it yeah, goes yeah, down yeah. and i I wrote, written down there after doing a trick on the manual pad, and there was people down there, and the lady is like regular. She's like, no, can't go past this line. And I was like, hey, I'm sorry, but I respect the shit out of that. This yeah. is your space. Yeah. It's just Facts. like skating. Yeah. All yeah. good. My bad. Did not. I didn't even know that was a thing. Oh yeah. You yeah, know yeah, what yeah. I mean? No, they have their they, yeah. they have their area down there. But they, yeah. they, sure. they bring the speaker out. They just oh yeah. Digging. Oh yeah. Bro, I, I went to that event yesterday, and they had like the skate obstacle, and I was like, bro, how sick would it be to like do like an event, but like. You know, have somebody who could build like a mobile like roller rink, mm. and then have like a skate park activation. You know what I mean? And just have like those two, and have a crazy event with like music. You oh, know, yeah. drink, like like some just vibe, just have everybody come out. I think it'd be a dope like you dope should, vibes. Bro. Like that'd be a crazy that'd event. Be, what about roller derby? Uh, <laughs> man, all all types yeah, of skating. Yeah, you gotta go around the sur- anything, bro. Stars. Hey, they used to have like you know at the roller rinks they would do like races. Oh, like you know okay. like like they would have like you know different sections where like okay. We're gonna turn it into like a backward skate for a couple yeah. songs, and they would have like oh. the couple skate, and like they would do like we're gonna have a race, you know what I mean? And, like I was always trying to do all of it. I love the, the races and everything. Is there like certain bro. tricks that you do, or like <laughs> I, I, I have no idea about like, but like when there's certain moves, <laughs> you like do. is there? There's in skating, you have a link. Skateboarding, you have a yeah. language, right? Mm-hmm. What's what's um, the, it's 
like there's language in roller skating, but yeah. it's all just like this is classified as like rhythm skating. Yeah. Okay. Like you know what I mean? Like you go and you just rhythm skating, like you know, backward skating or like you know, shuffle. Like you, it's called a shuffle in roller skating. But there's a lot, you know what I mean? Then you got routines, but I don't think the the roller skating language is that deep. But like they have their things, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like and, mm-hmm. and you know what it is. But all in general, it's just you know rhythm skating. Like you know, mm. in junior fresh. high, in yeah. junior high, I used to go to this place called Skateland in Reseda, <laughs> and it was a roller rink, you yeah. know. And but it was one of those things where you know people would pull up on like Friday night, and they would have the uh, they turn off the lights and have mm-hmm. the disco ball going, Fact. and there would be like a dance section, yeah. people dancing. It, I mean, it was fun. I, I definitely oh, did that tight. quite a bit. Okay. And there would be a little bit of scamming. We call it scamming. Yeah. Or oh, you would be you know hook up with a little girl or whatever. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the roller ring hook yeah. up scam at the roller ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, oh, um, but yeah, that shit was fun, bro. Yeah. I definitely remember that. I love it. I got a board graphic. I, I wanted that. I think going to come out at some point that I uh, worked on with Ed. It's like a roller skating graphic. Hell so yeah. sick. But I want to do a whole like skit for it. Like it's. I got a whole idea <laughs> for it. I, I'm hoping it comes into play. But it's gonna be sick. But like, man. And yeah, it's, it's the graphic it, is so sick. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ed, is that drawing? It yeah, and stuff? That, yeah. I, see, I that's incredible, a, yeah. bro. You gotta. I oh my I god. I give him a concept, and literally, like, I kid you not. Every time I give him a concept, first try, the graphic's good. Like that board was like first try, first that's try, crazy. like first try. I, I told him what I wanted to do. Like, and I talked to Mike. I've always wanted to do a graphic about me shaving my head. I've always wanted to do a graphic about me ironing my clothes. <laughs> okay. And like, they and he he made that graphic perfect he like he like put the the az on the tank top and everything and like you know the board color we came up with that and then like they made they got another one that's pretty crazy it's like me ironing but i'm turtle boy okay turtle boy but i'm ironing like the toy machine suit and then like behind me is like boxes of shoes he he nails it dude he nails it first try i like every time he sends me one i'm like yeah yeah, <laughs> that's good. I mean, what are you gonna tell? What are you gonna tell at yeah. Templeton? Like, exactly. mm, nah, yeah. that's not. Yeah. Yeah, maybe change the shit. Exactly. Every time, that's first try. Incredible, bro. I'm Dude, like, I, I mean, we boy. can get into that too. I'm yeah, sure, we're but gonna, like, uh, yeah, 100%. yeah. <laughs> Ed Templeton. I know. Legend, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. crazy, man. Dude, I wasn't using the bathroom. I looked up. I was like, oh, you got a Templeton <laughs> thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Got a picture. When you take a piss, you look. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm pissing with Ed Templeton. <laughs> well, let, we will get in. Let's get into the um, the toy machine thing too. But well, how long were you on business and company? It seemed for like, uh, like a good year yeah, or so. Yeah, so good. Like I, it was like a good two years. Two years. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Everything's going good over there. You guys did some funny skits. Oh yeah. You did I some had a, funny shit. I had a great. T- I had a great time over there, man. It was it was short and sweet, but it it was it was a great time over there. And you know, I called him. You know, when I you know when I was decided I wanted to make that switch, but it was all it. It wasn't, it wasn't anything like you know, like random or like mm. oh, like I want to leave because it was a very like mutual understanding, mm-hmm. and he respected like why I wanted to leave because he he knew you know what I mean he knew where I was coming from and you know the things I was bringing up and you know how I felt and what I had to go through and he like he respected it like ten you know ten times yeah. like yeah. You know I mean like so it was it it was mellow it was a it was great though I loved working with him. The, one of the most creative dudes I've ever seen. Yes. Funny, like down to earth. Like we kind of shared like similar, like you know, what I mean, like like you know how we came up. You know, what I mean, yeah. he was same thing. Like you know, didn't know his pops. I didn't know my pops. You know, single mom. You know, mm. like it. So it was very like it was you know close friendship. Guys Still is bonded. close friendship. Guys yeah. bonded really yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. And he's a he's such a great guy. So easy to talk to. Mm-hmm. Funny. Like I think the first time I went on tour with him, I mean, we just clicked yeah. and hit it off right away you mm-hmm. know spent hours talking Shoot. in the hotel room he's got an answer like for that. everything too. And, dude, he really so does much knowledge and yeah. like yeah. man it i learned so much in that like time still learning from him but like it yeah he great dude like yeah. i love that dude to death for he's sure. the i think best. i think watching from the side like he added some character to you too oh like when you guys did that skit yeah uh what, 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 the at the courthouse? courthouse? Yeah. 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 yeah yeah and the, the, and the, the murder recruit one yeah like he definitely he definitely made me feel like more comfortable, like about like being myself and doing stuff like that. Like if it was something like that, like that I also thought about, cause like I'm so I'm like really into that stuff. Like it wasn't a point where it was like he like got me to do it. It was like no, like I'm down for that type of yeah. stuff. I love like the personality. I love doing that. So he definitely helped me like 
become more comfortable with that, you know, mm-hmm. and, and getting out of like that, like, like my skin and like be comfortable being, you know, out there and giving totally. people more of me. And so like, I like, I appreciate that so much. Cause like, man, that was some great stuff. Like I would never forget that. Like, you know, the moments I had with, you know, doing that type of stuff. I mean, he mm-hmm. thrives off that type of For stuff. Sure. He was born to do that type of, mm-hmm. you know, skits and all those little Facts. fun things, you know, Definitely. cause he's, his, his ideas are, I mean, <laughs> he's got a lot of ideas. You know, let's just say that. You know? Unlimited. Uh, yeah, unlimited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. But so when you guys, when you did, were doing business and company, what happened there though? Did the toy machine thing come into the picture while you were still on business or what was a... Uh, what, what what was transpiring around that time? Um, so so you know like all the things that happened with the companies, you know, there's a lot of bumps and bruises, you know, like you know, obviously things that are normal with you know startups and everything. Sure. And um, so the toy machine thing, you know, when I brought it up to Mark, I knew that he was like, before I explained it, I knew he was probably gonna think that it was kind of like something that was like a premeditated thing. Okay. But the crazy thing about that is, and you know, Mike told me this after, you know, after. But, you know, I was always talking to Mike about, you know, just how things are going in my career in general. You know Mike what I mean? Who? Like uh, Sinclair. Oh, Mike Sinclair. Yeah, like me, like me and Mike have been close for like, you know, like years. Like, yeah. you know, I've, another you know, great through guy. Nike. Definitely. Yeah, great another guy. great dude. So yeah. like, you know, he's just, you know, one of my really good friends, you know, like, how's everything going to Sean? You know, you're skating, getting clips, you know, how's everything over here? You know what I mean? And, you know, we just always update each other on everything. And so, you know, when... It, it was never even a conversation that like, oh, like, you know, I'm thinking about leaving around this time. Like, let's like, you know, I want to get on Toy Machine. It was just like when things were, you know, happening at business that was like out of me and Mark's control or anybody's mm. control that were just like natural things that were making it hard for, you know, everybody to like thrive and, you know, grow. Um, we, we talked about it and it was just like, you know, like, you know, what's going on? You know, I know things are going over there, but, you know, at some point, you know, just like, you know, like, you just got to figure out what you want to do, you know, like mm. and. I was chilling, you know what I mean? And he brought it up to me. He was like, yo, you know, if things, you know, you know, don't go well over there, you know, like, you know, come in the toy machine, you know what I mean? Wow. Like, you know, it, you know, be, be cool. But this is, he never told me, like, so Ed brought me up to him a long time ago. Oh, wow. Like, and asked him about me, but he, in respect, he didn't want to, like, bring it up to me because he knew, like, you know, I was with Mark. Yeah, and doing yeah, the thing. Yeah, so yeah. he was like, yeah, you know, like, Ed, you know, asked me about, you know, like, he was like, yo, what's up with, like, the Deshaun kid, you know, and, and Mike was like, you know, I just told me, you know, like, you, you, you're on business, you know, you got, you're doing things over there, and so, like, the conversation was, like, deaded, it wasn't, you know, a thing, like, it wasn't anything that I was planning, it was like, oh, it's there, you know, and Ed's, mm. you know, like, interested, and so, you know, when things, you know, were getting to a point with business where it was like, I was thinking about, you know, leaving business, then that's when that flame kind of got rekindled, and, like, you know, most people would think, you know, I mean, it, and, you know, in the part it is, you know, Mike, you know, wanted me to ride for a toy machine, but it really, like, came up, came up because of Ed, like, asked Mike about me, you know, yeah. it wasn't like a thing where it was like, oh, you know, oh, he's close to Mike, it makes sense, a lot of people were like, it makes sense, you know what I mean, but it was kind of like a, that whole opportunity came up, kind of like a 50-50 between both of them, it was like, Ed was interested, you know what I mean, and, you know, you so Mike was like, oh, like, this could be a possibility, you know what I mean, like, yeah, you know, why not, you know, come over here. And I was like, you know, leaving business, I was like, you know, like, that's the only other place that, like, I'd be stoked to go because it's, like, family. Like, I know Mike for forever, you know what I mean? I was, you know, he's friends He's taking with, care of you, bro. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I love seeing that over oh, the years. Oh, for sure. Yeah, like, yeah. he's, like, bro, he, man, like, I, bro, I love Mike to death. Like, that, like, dude, that dude is, like, helped me so much, like, from talks to wisdom to, like, supporting me, you know, and trips, you know, would be in flow Nike kid to, like, like, he's done a lot for me. And so, like, it, like when that became an op- an option or an opportunity, I was like, oh yeah, like, you know, if th- things didn't work out here, I would, you know, do that for sure because like, that's f- like, that's family. Like, I love Mike to death. Like, and I'm comfortable being over there. You know what I mean? I know he like, always has my best interest as well. And like, mm-hmm. You know, I'm down and, you know, Toy Machine's dope. And I got homeless who for them already. Like, you know what I mean? It wouldn't be too foreign. Mm-hmm. And in the beginning, it was kind of like, oh, it's different, you know? Like, it wasn't me, but I liked, like, how different it was because it made sense and it was a little like different and caught people off guard but it was like oh like you know it's there like it makes sense and mm. so when you know i like started getting to a point to where i was agreeing on making that switch it was like okay you know we started like talking about it and you know it was becoming normal to me and i and i was like super stoked on it and you know just like hearing that you know ed was also interested and it wasn't just off of like like friendship thing it was like oh mike like i'm gonna look after you it was like a genuine you know yeah. like interest i was like, like oh. ed was actually asking yeah. about you that's a big mm-hmm. deal bro yeah facts exactly and yeah. that like 
I mean, that, that's hard to get on that company. Exactly. You, know, you yeah. don't just get on because Hell of Mike Sinclair backs you. It's like exactly. the whole everyone has yeah. to yes, go with bro. it. Yes, yeah. bro. You know what's crazy is, you know, like when it was getting to that point, you know, like, everybody started hitting me up. Like Leo was texting me. Everybody was like, oh, you know, I heard like, you know, you, it might like, you know, uh, in some way, like you might, you might begin on tour or something. And I was like, yeah, you know, like, Talking so Mike about it, but it was just crazy because, like, you know, the, the team was hitting me up, and I was like, That's oh, sick. man, you know, you and, and, and so Mike good. was saying, you know, all the feedback was good. Everybody was, like, stoked on it, you know, and 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 and, and hyped on it. And so it was just, like, it's getting me even more hyped, you know right. what I mean? And, you know, like, you know, it was – I was stoked being on um, business for sure, like, you know, amp them out. And it was also crazy just, like, know that, like, I was getting, like, to get that feeling of, like, a full team. Because in the beginning, it was, like, just mm -hmm. me and Mark. You know what I mean? Right. So it was, like, you know, obviously hard on us because everything depended on us. So, like, not only was it that, but I was, like, oh, man, like, dude, like, I'm about, like, this is a full team. Like, they, you know, they do tours and, like, yeah, yeah. like what the heck? Man, I never, like, I never, get, I never been in a van. I never, like, I don't know. So I was just, like, thinking about it. I was, like, man, like, this is crazy. Like, and then, like, you said, like, being on a company like that and, you know, everybody was, like, yo, like, I think you're, like, the first black dude to be fully on toy and, like, <laughs> all this stuff. So I'm, like, no way, like, this is, like, this is crazy. Like, this How is long has Toy Machine been it's around? It's a legacy brand. That shit has been around yeah. at least 30 years. Yeah. Say. At least, at right? Least. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Think about that, bro. Yeah. Like, to have a brand Straight be up. alive for yeah. 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. 20 years. It's bro, and, yeah. and just going places now, bro, like, die hard. Vans. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Like, mm -hmm. like. OD, like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. even, because yeah. Ed Templeton, bro, yeah. I mean, he's, he set legend. the standard for that. You know, yeah. They love the art that he's produced throughout mm -hmm. the years. It's like, yeah. they, they stick with him. Bro, going crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's so funny, too, because in the beginning, it was like, it's different, you know? Like, you're definitely, like, different on toy, but, like, it's dope. You know what I mean? I was like, I like it. You know what I mean? Like, I am, like, you know, I don't, like, me and you know, all the dudes, like, we all skate different. Like, I... I like that. Like, but it's you sick, don't. But you, it's like you fit right in though, yeah, because yeah. your skating is so gnarly. Yeah. Not, it. That brand has been known as a gnarly skate mm -hmm. brand. But yeah. I love that. That's broke that mold. Like, let's yeah. go. Exactly. Let's fuck yeah. Let's okay. Exactly. I'm the first. Let's go. I ain't gonna be the last. Yeah, but you, <laughs> you're, yeah. 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 yeah, bro. They, they got a little Jay on there. He's also like you know like the little like the black home like a little like black kid from like uh, Texas. Sick. Like Hell like yeah. I love like you know like that and it's a side in general like. The direction Toy Machine's taking, I feel like just like you know being a part of it now and seeing like what they're doing, like the young kids are putting on the mm -hmm. Japanese, like it's like I love it, like oh, it, yeah. it's sick. Yeah, they got Daiki, yeah, yeah Daiki, Ooh, so sick, yeah. so beast. It's like I love it, like I'm hyped to be a part of like that, you know, like yeah. that that new you know direction and growth they're taking, and just you Hell know yeah. be be able to skate with dudes like gnarliest dudes like Leo and you know what I mean D Lou, like you know Daniel Luther and all those yeah. dudes, Corey, yeah, yeah. like I mean they're all like he's foundation, but like Corey all, Glick's incredible, bro. dude. You know, whole, bro, I've known Corey for so long, too. It's so crazy because I met him through, like, a contest. I think it was, like, Zoomy's Best Foot Forward. And we skated, like, the, the X Games Hometown Heroes thing. They did one in L.A. Um, where they had, like, that course that was kind of like a school. It looked like a schoolyard. It was in L.A. It was, like, a LA, the, the one Paul won. I don't P Rod remember. one. It was like it was like years oh, this ago. Was a long ass yeah, time ago. Years yeah. ago. But I met Corey then. Wow. Like I said at his like aunt's crib with him in Burbank and everything. And like wow. like we were friends before that. So it's just crazy. Like the full circle just like yeah. now I we're just that, like, you know bro. what I mean? Yeah, like, it makes so much sense then, bro. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. You know? Yeah. That's so sick. But I'm stoked, man. It's it's I it's mean been you awesome. seem fucking happy. Yeah. yeah. One yeah. thing that stuck out stuck out to me in that uh when you were talking about toy machine. Was that you've never been in the van? Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. That's huge, that, man. To me, <laughs> that is fucking crazy <laughs> that you've had a skate career for this long mm -hmm. and never been on tour <laughs> with a team. <laughs> there. That's nuts. <laughs> Those were the, that's where the memories like really yeah, like, yeah, yeah man. And the camaraderie and building with these dudes. Yeah. That's, that's, that's but you know what? Have a great time. Shit. I know, I know, yeah. Yeah. You know what's funny though is that we look at you almost as like this OG dude. Yeah. But you're so that's young. What I'm saying, though. Though. But you're so yeah. young still, right? He's only oh 24. Oh, like, I know. Like you're like this big pro skater now, mm. and we think of like, oh, you, you're like at least t late 20s. Yeah. I mean, been, yeah, we've seen you around for a long time. Mm, yeah. So you're saying, but like, yeah, you're still young and this. This is perfect. Like you're you're getting uh -huh. a taste of it now, but you're you're at the top now. Appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, appreciate yeah. it. Look where you grew it. into yourself. Yeah. Trying quite, to, yeah, it's quite buttery. That's, thank you, man. Yeah, it's crazy, yeah, yeah. crazy to think about. Like, been a long time. <laughs> like, hey, listen, it's well deserved, but, though, yeah, dude. Yeah, and, yeah. and you know what? I always say, everything in this life 
is about timing. Facts. Everything. Facts. We have, I mean, even to down to this show and getting guests on the mm -hmm. show, we've been talking to some guests for three years. Facts. And it hasn't even happened yet. Facts. And it's like, man, everything is just timing, mm -hmm. you know? And it just, it, it, if it's that person's timing or the universe's timing, yeah. it's just timing, Dude. you know? And so everything's working out. 24 years old, you know, on this company that you feel really at home at mm -hmm. now. I mean, it's a beautiful thing. Right. And truly, sometimes up. sometimes good things come to those who wait, bro. Facts. Patience, patience is key in this shit. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Did, Facts. Yeah. Didn't we talk at Tampa like three years ago? We're like, we can get you on the nine club. Yeah. But like, yeah. How how crazy is it in that three years how much has happened oh, yeah. Yeah. to talk yeah. about now? Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's yeah. what I'm saying about yeah. the timing thing, yeah. right? Because three years ago, you coming on this show, yeah, they would have been awesome. Facts. But look where you are now. Yeah. You come here, we have so much to talk about. Exactly. We have so much going on and so much in the future too mm -hmm. Facts. that now we could follow it up with like some stop and chats and yeah. video Facts. parts and like mm -hmm. there's so much. Like I feel like right now this is only the start. Yeah. Appreciate it. Like yeah. for real. Definitely. You are. Thank you. Yeah, dude. Bro. And you, contest wise, man. Everything. I know you didn't make it to the Olympics. Yeah. And you know it, it was actually I was when I went to the Rome stop and mm -hmm. I saw you guys go everyone going in I was so proud of watching you guys because it was <laughs> like seeing you as a little kid at, at Phoenix yeah. Am just doing your thing Facts. I think you got a a good chance the next one appreciate yeah. it and I think you just keep doing your thing man you're fucking appreciate I, it's a it's a big inspiration to a lot of people man you're Thank killing you, man. it yeah, yeah I'm trying to yeah. trying to keep it going man that's one thing I learned you know from Mark. Sinclair, Scuba, Oliver, you know, everybody who's like, you know, been my OGs, it's like the patience thing and just like the perfect timer thing has really mm -hmm. played a huge part of my career because like I just, you know, like oftentimes you get lost in the sauce and you know, you compare yourself or you like, you think, oh, like, you know, this timing on this or when this happened, but then like you got to like kind of take a step back and just like evaluate like who you are, you know what I mean? And everybody's, mm -hmm. everybody's process is different, you know what I mean? And like that, plays a huge part in it. so it's like me is like i've all you know I always tell people i'm like yo i'm like anytime like i've wanted it to happen is never like came but it's like it's always been on time mm. like and like it's just crazy when i look back and it's like you know play certain situations in my life where it's like okay like i held out and like what i wanted to happen in this situation in this situation it's like dude that's all you need is like patience and it's like mm. you know what's for you is for you and can't nobody take it away from you and it's just like just stand ten toes down and just like you know, what I mean, get into it. Like it'll always work out. And so yeah. like, that's kind of like I live by that so much. I'm like, yeah. dude, like I don't, I don't ever stress about anything anymore. Like timing, things I want to accomplish. I'm like, yo, it'll happen when it needs to happen. Just keep and your also, head down and work, yeah, bro. Exactly, exactly. Work, exactly. Yeah. Cause uh, also, you know, we we're skateboarders, man, mm -hmm. and stress can play a huge part in affecting that. Facts. You know, you need to have your a clear mind. You need to be, and that, that's why I think a lot of older skaters as well. Sometimes they thrive after they're not really affiliated with the company anymore Facts. or they're not pro yeah. or they're not or they've taken a kind of a step back and you see them and you're like, dude, you're fucking killing it yeah. right now. Facts. They don't have that. They're not bogged down. Mm -hmm. You know, they feel a release. Facts. You know, yeah. I think but, it's about turning pro. I think what the most relieving or satisfying part is the journey. Yeah. Look, when you mm -hmm. get that board. And you look about look at like what you just what you just did. Facts. I, I remember when I tur turned pro, I forgot about turning pro. <laughs> it was like it was like just go out and just want to have fun. And then when you looked at it so hard mm -hmm. and tried for it so hard, it didn't work out. Facts. Right. Totally. You put on this pedestal and you try so hard. I'm like, yo, you're forgetting the whole process is the best part exactly. of the whole thing. Yeah. So sure. and it's interesting. Some people have to work really hard at it, and some people it just kind of comes easy. Mm -hmm. You know and Myself, I had to work fucking my ass <laughs> yeah. off. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I had to like, work, so, man. Dude, <laughs> I never work. talking to Walker Ryan about it. He's like, yo, you just got to imagine every trick is like its own journey. Mm -hmm. And you keep stacking those tricks. And mm -hmm. next thing you know, you have a video part. You can yeah. turn pro. Mm -hmm. Facts. And I was yeah. like... I never thought of it. It yeah. sounds simple. Well, he's a smart dude. He is a super <laughs> smart dude. I wish I would have taken it. Down, very simple. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't like, you know, like 
we, when you love skateboarding so much, it's hard to turn that into a plan. Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, mm. oh, yeah, just do this, that, that trick, that trick, that trick. Yeah. You know? And you love it so much that you want everything to happen. Yeah. You know? And that's the, that's a tough part is the, that weight yeah. and that journey. You know, Facts. you want it. You Again, know? it goes back to having but, that patience, bro. But you know what's crazy, too? To go back, I remember you asked me about the sponsor me tapes. Yeah. Because yeah, I just yeah. remember yeah. you said that. I had the sponsor me tapes. It was my part in my first street part. I actually had tried to tap back in with Sam. I said oh, to him, Sam's but he was like, "Oh, there's not really any room on the team." So like that, that like flopped. And I actually mm. sent it to DGK. Oh, and oh. same thing. They're like, "Oh yeah, they just did get back to me." But it was just funny. That was a, I did that twice with like my sponsor. Wait a minute, team. is the sponsor? Is it out there on the universe? Is it on YouTube? Oh, I, or still, anything? I still have it in my email. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. For no, sure. but in your email. Well, I, 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 I still got the email. I sent to Sam. So I no, but the, the sponsor me tape. You don't have, have it on YouTube. Never made a tape. Oh, oh no, I, I never put it on YouTube. But I have the link in like the part in my email. Like I could like I go to my email and out. hit the fun. link. And, How long ago yeah, was this? Oh, uh, this was like <laughs> I was definitely living there in Arizona. Uh, Man, probably Is that AZ Thread years or <laughs> uh, a little bit like probably a couple years after that. Okay, like, Dark yeah. Star. Dark, uh, no, I don't, I don't think I was on Dark Star yet. Oh, before Dark. Yeah. So was, think, what was the company you wrote for at that point? Uh, Homicide uh, Skateboards. Homicide. <laughs> Homicide. Dude, hey, hey, I had an ad with them. I had an ad with them, and, 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 and yeah, they made a. Uh, that my ad with them was a want, it was like a fake wanted poster. Okay. So okay. it was, so it was like, it was like alias Little D. Wait. Like it was like I forgot how much they put on my weight, like ninety pounds or something, like wow. height four eleven. It was a whole. I still have that magazine too. It was oh so funny. God. Me bro. doing an airwalk to fake yet? Airwalk to fake at Chandler oh. Skate Park. See? Okay. Bro, can you can you get us that link? <laughs> yeah, we, we sure. should put it on the Instagram. <laughs> I got you. I, I guess yeah. a link for that. Part. I was saying, why don't, how come you don't put it out? How come you don't like? I, make I don't it? know. I haven't really thought about it. Really? I should. I should put it out. I mean, I just think it would be a fun thing. Yeah, I think yeah. it'd be a fun thing, and I think it's like cool to kind of look back and show people. See how far you've come and like Facts. how you look when you first started skating. Yeah, Facts. man. Facts. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's so crazy to think about. I know. Think about it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, if you send me the or let's oh, talk after. Sure. Well, listen, yeah. we could post like a couple. We don't have to post yeah, the whole thing, maybe, sure, but we yeah. could do. It'd be funny to post a couple. Yeah, tricks. I'll, yeah, find, yeah. I'll find the link. Especially sure. the airwalk to fakey. Come on. Yeah. We got, oh yeah, bro, the airwalk to fakey. I used to double airwalk to fakey too. Double. Get him. You have some crazy uh, unique tricks. You know, but like, hey, for real, you have. The best laser flip. I was, Thank you. I have it's so seen. funny. I was, I, wanted to, I was going to ask for a tutorial. Can we get a tutorial? Like, how do you work? Let, let's break this down, please. Because you do have like a tray flip, I, dude. Bro, yeah. you have it on lock? <laughs> it's Catching crazy. that bitch. Dude. <laughs> I just, I was like, I actually learned that trick because I was skating the hip at uh, Chandler Skate Park. That was my local skate park I grew up. Chandler mm -hmm. Sea Park Low. Okay. Oh, all day. Okay. Is that Marty Morowski <laughs> from out there? Yeah, Marty Morowski. I don't know best. if he's from Chandler. I think he might be from like Phoenix area. Tim he's Tim Tim okay. Tim okay. It's so crazy. I met um, this kid that I went to school with in elementary school. He used to get on my bus to school. And you would have all these DBS stickers. And he brought it up to me. He was like, oh, I think my, my teacher's son is like Morowski, something like that. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, oh, I think her son's name is Marty Morowski. He was like, yeah, yeah, I think it's that. But his mom, all the, DV, all the DBS stickers that he had, she would give them to the students. Oh, um, yeah. So I, 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 write, I write one of my homies, and he was, he was like a Hispanic kid. He was like, you know, he was like the dickies. Like, he was chilling, but he was just so hyped on the stickers. Hard, He's like, yeah, yeah, my teacher like gave me all these stickers, like her son skateboards or something like that. Amazing. And I was like, yeah, that's Marty. So but um, yeah, so yeah, I was uh, skating the hip, and uh, I think I was doing front big spins. Mm. And I think one like accidentally flipped, maybe a big hill flipped. Okay. And I think it was Andrew was like, yo, you should the heck y'all almost just laser flip you should try learning laser flip and I learned like I started like trying to do them and I learned them on the hip that day oh. and it just became part of like like part of my bag of trick like tricks and I don't even like I was running it but I don't even know I don't, like I wasn't even running it like my first couple years in contests like I like I don't even know what year it was actually where it clicked to where I was like oh I'm gonna start doing this trick in contests yeah. Yeah. like cause I was doing them but very like randomly and then it just became a trick where I was like I don't know. I just started doing it a lot. Well, no I mean, one does that trick a lot. Yeah. Nah. You know, it's not really. And put, it was kind of looked at, kind of mm -hmm. like because you got to do it Mark, dope. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can't be flopping that shit. Yeah, Mark had Mark, a, Mark swags them out like yeah. in that laser flip manual oh, in that yeah. one part. And then uh, what, what 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 part was that? Was that fully flared? 
He did no, the laser flip manual. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. He did it in the Van Owen bump. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He killed it that, bro. Yeah, that dude. Was, I was there that day. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, laser bro. flip, really? Yeah. yeah. Is it all yeah. buttery too? Yeah. Dude, yeah. I was like, wait, Mark was running the laser flips. And I know Tori tried one out of Street League years ago. Oh. Like that obstacle, it was like a, a like wavy obstacle, and people skated it like. I think mean, you could bump to flat, or it was like a ledge. Mm -hmm. And Tori was trying one to to, uh, to flat, hmm. but he didn't land it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But he was trying. And I was like, dang, oh, like they they ran laser flips low key like back in the day. But like you said, it was probably a trick that was probably it was like, frowned upon. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, because people it's not, couldn't do yeah, it. Yeah, because they couldn't do it good. Yeah. But then once it started being done properly, then you're like, okay, I could, I could, I could, <laughs> Bro, I could handle that. When you did one at Street League off the big thing that <laughs> went down the hubba, I was like. Okay, now we're in a different realm. <laughs> the like lawn tramp over. The... No, it was like a straight drop. Yeah, right? it was like a, it was a it was like a street league where like the big section was a hubba, but the hubba was like the hubba was, it was crazy. Yeah, but you can skate like the Sheckler was skating it too, right? No, it was not like that a going, one. Oh, not no, that one. No, this oh, one he, was Chicago. Uh, I think it maybe I don't think he was there that year. It was the it was the Chicago. No, one, no, no. Right? Chris Johnson was skating. Chris Johnson was skating it. Yeah, but it was kind of like a ramp that kind of went up a it little bit. It was flat. It yeah, was it was just flat. flat. Yeah, it was flat. Uh, and then it went down a different one. But there was yeah. a big bump to hub up Tory like kick foot back. Yeah, kick foot back tail. I think yeah. down yeah. and across. That that yeah, yeah. course was crazy. Yeah, that was nuts. <laughs> that yeah. Cra not everybody that, liked that. Yeah, yeah, that that course was like a hubba, and they had like a little like like a I forgot what it was. It was like that that thing in the middle that was kind of like the bump to like. With the big barrier air. type of thing. Remember that thing I was in the middle? It was like rounded, but it was like right in the middle. It was Bro, a bank I can't, to there's it. been so I many know. street leagues I now, know. I can't even yeah. remember. That course something. was different, but everybody yeah. shot, killed it. His oh, run yeah. there was crazy. He was backside flipping. Remember that backside flip, the quarter pipe to quarter pipe, like over the middle? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, bro, yeah, he, did that, that, he did that every try. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, bro, you are, bro, one of the, also He's one of the best skaters no ever. Doubt. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up. Love a shot. That's my bro. That's my dog. So, tutorial. How do we do a laser flip? Okay, what, what's your technique? So my technique is like, so I, I try to hang my my front foot off to where like you know like the crease of where like your toes begin on okay. your foot. Yep. I yep. try to like hang it so like that part is kind of like on the edge of the board, mm. like with my front foot, and mm -hmm. I try to put that back foot like like kind of toes in the pocket of my tail so like I can just scoop it. So okay. it's almost I literally do nothing you, on my you, front foot. You're I putting just, it on the. You're regular goofy. A uh, goofy. So you you're putting it on the left pocket. Side. Yes. Right side. The right yeah, side. Yeah, the right yeah. side pocket. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. It's like kind of like an like opposite of a tray flip. You yes. would do. Okay. Got yeah. You. Perfect. Mm -hmm. okay. Opposite okay. of a tray flip, and I literally just, I'm all like pressure. Like I just scoop it and move my front foot. Like I do nothing with my front foot. Front foot glides like, it kind of. The front right? foot it's like a tray like, flip. You gotta uh, catch it, right? Yeah, kind of, so like yeah, so I catch it like I literally just like, you know, I scoop it and I just stay, you know what I mean, stay over it. And I, I kinda catch like a tray flip, like mm. but But when you say scoop and you're a pressure, you're but you're still popping it. Yeah. You're not yeah. like pressuring it. Yeah, it, it's like it's like a happy meet in between like a okay. like a little pressure and a pop. Like, like yeah. you could do it over something yeah. if you wanted to, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's pop like pressure. I just yeah, I just yeah, a little pop and pressure. Like I I everybody asked me this dude just actually asked me the other day when I was leaving that the pushing for pink event. He was mm -hmm. like, Yo, like cook tutorial on laser flips and I like told him the same thing. I was like, Yo, I was like, honestly, like I just strictly rely on the scoop. Yeah. Like That's it's just it. a scoop for me. I, I don't do anything on my front foot. Because but, you would think you'd have to heel, you would have to like yeah. make contact with your heel to make yeah. it flip. Just like a tray flip, right? You you know, your front foot kind of guides it along mm -hmm. and, and does the little flip. It's to me it's all in your back foot. You're really whipping that thing around. But my tray flips, around. I don't do anything on my front foot either. See? It's mm -hmm. the same just, thing, right? Same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. But it's yeah. all based on your position on your on Facts. your foot. Mm -hmm. right. your front foot. Yeah. yeah. All in the back foot pocket. You have to have wow. a quick scoop, though, huh? Yeah, like, kind of... Because, like, so, a shot... Sorry to interrupt. Because no, a good. shot does his lasers. He just like... Whoop, exactly. But he, he just switched, though. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. switch. But same concept. He just like, does it so it. fast. Yeah. yeah. And it's I'm just, like, whoa. Like, his this is like a little button. He just pushes in his... I feel like it's a oh, pinch. Because I feel like it's a pinch in the back exactly. pocket where he just, like, has... Like you said, a button. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. pinch right there. And just it goes. Because sometimes for tricks, tricks for me... Take, sometimes they, uh, different tricks takes a lot of energy. Yeah. Right? And that's a trick for me that takes a lot of energy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I get tired after I do a, yeah. a laser. I'm like, whew. God, I was at like that. Can you exhausting. do that trick? Um, yeah, I'd switch. I can do them switch. Okay. Better than regular. Yeah. I think I can maybe pull off a couple regular ones on flat, but switch, I, can, I used to be able to whip around. Mm -hmm. Dude, I was skating this, uh, it's like a new Pasadena park. It's like a bump over like a little like 
ball huh. and this kid was like uh, laser flipping it and he was like like yeah he, he asked me too like what's the key to him i was like and it helped him i was like yo just like i feel like people overthink it mm-hmm. and i was like yo just like scoop it relax and just let it do its thing under your feet like it will rotate like just relax like don't like think you have to like kick out hard and like i was like just scoop give it a little scoop and just let it flow and it'll like it'll stay under you and he like relaxing and he like he's like did a couple of them okay yeah, okay. yeah but like that's the key to him is like it like you just one of those tricks you say lazy and you're like oh man like it probably like scoop it hard but like literally and i mean it's probably because i'm like it's like i've been doing the trick a lot so mm-hmm. like that's what i think it takes to do it but like i swear like the the like trick to it is just relaxing and just like kicking that foot and just moving your front foot out the way and just mm-hmm. letting it just do its thing and just but staying over it you know and it'll rotate like you know what i mean and yeah i don't know like that's kind of how i think about doing it and i feel like anybody i've told like it's worked out for mm-hmm. them but okay. i don't know like i just do you know who i don't know if this is the first person to ever do it but do you know where i or do you know where uh do you know who mike hayes is i've heard of mike hayes but he not, was the <laughs> he was on alien and he was the one that when he had it in his part, it would go like pew, 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 in the alien video. And <laughs> they, that's where I, they made noise. Yeah, yeah. They made it. so good. And like <laughs> laser noise. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And he like did laser flip man. Oh, wait. Yeah. Laser flip manual. Oh, no. That was a different thing. That was the alien industry section. But yeah, when he did the trick every time this alien video he did that <laughs> noise. Beast. And I was like, it's true. And I was like, that's where the name laser I, flip. Yeah. Came laser from. flip came from. That's that. how I That's how I know. That's how, how I know from. too. That's yeah. beast. Yeah. yeah. Hey, shout out Mike Hayes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shout out. You know what, Dubs? I did not know that. Really? No. There's a time code. Mm-mm. Time code. Yeah, yeah. good yeah. video. Choop, 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 choop. It was like, <laughs> yeah, a little laser. <laughs> it was like this really, I think there might have been two lasers. There was a blips. couple. Yeah. 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 And you're like, what the fuck was that? Fucking yeah. laser flips, <laughs> bro. I love yeah. it. You do them really well. You know, that's why everybody wants a tutorial from you. Thank you, man. Straight appreciate out. it. Fucking appreciate throwing it. those things down, down huge gaps and shit. God damn. I appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> so now we talked toy machines, good, right? Yes. You're stoked. I Super mean, the stoked. art from Ed Templeton's incredible. <sighs> you know, you miss. don't even have to fucking. Yeah, man. That's a beautiful thing too, mm-hmm. is like not having to worry about board graphics, not having to, like anything can come out without you seeing it. You know it's good. Facts. Yeah. You know it's good. Facts. You know? Now thinking about it, it's like being blessed to go from Mark to Ed. No. <laughs> to being in charge to of my like graphics. Genius. It's like, yeah. it's pretty crazy to think about now. I'm like, man, that's yeah, a blessing. Bro, <laughs> it's like, they bro. bro, between those dudes, all the graphics I've ever had come out, like, like have been good yeah. like and people love them and they've yeah. done great i'm like bro it is a blessing like have because you know the graphics are important like Big time. you know what i mean totally. and so like yeah to have those dudes like being those dudes corner and have those in my corner like making them like they've i mean not only out. shout out not only legends on the board and but just like fucking genius facts yeah with the, sure. with the art and stuff like that they, they are skateboarding you know what i mean yeah, yeah. Facts. yeah i think we were lucky too with like girl and chocolate mm-hmm. uh like evan hecox for oh, chocolate man. and like we never so you never good. really had to worry about like oh what's coming even like the team uh the logo boards that mm-hmm. would come out like mm-hmm. the girl logo mm-hmm. boards chocolate they were always just good facts. you know and then you had the other the art that would come out you're like yeah, yeah. You never have to worry about facts. that thing <laughs> you know facts Lesson. so let's what's going on now let, let's really quickly can we talk about the olympics coming yeah. up because you had mentioned before i honestly because we have conversations on and off camera i don't remember if it was on or off camera but you were saying that you are kind of just you know you skate the contest mm-hmm. but you're kind of just skating right now yeah. and you're not really kind of like you know hyper focused on one thing mm-hmm. How is that? Are you looking forward to this next Olympics coming up? I mean, well, we got like three years, two and a half years left. So, what do you, what's the plan there? What are you what are you um, thinking in your head? I would say I'm definitely looking forward to you know trying again. Um, I was you know after Rome, you know going to Rome, like I was probably as close as you can get yeah. to like <laughs> to like going. Literally, it was like mm. it was down to the last. Tail. It was like yeah. down to the last needle, and it was like. You know, it's going to skate there. Who beat you out? Who beat you uh, out? It was... Dang, what was it? Was it... It was... Jagger was the Jagger, third. No, yeah. it was Alardi or Yeah, yeah. It, it was like it was like Jake and Jagger were like the two yeah, that kind of right. like... I was, I'll say about... Probably about like even. Or okay. Like, you yeah. know, knocking me out. Because we were all like... Oh, the smallest were, amount of points from each other like it could have been anybody's game oh, like, neck neck. yeah like if I would have made the finals it like would have changed stuff or like if oh. Jamie would have made it to the finals it would have changed stuff because Jamie was right there too. Yeah. Um, But... 
I wasn't, you know, after everything happened, you know, like, you know, didn't line the last trick that was going to put me in the finals. Um, when I went to the side and like, you know, I was a little bummed at first, but like my shoulders felt like lighter because mm -hmm. it was so much like built up just like, you know what I mean? Like stress and just dealing with the on and off scheduling and contests and, you know, having a base, you know, my skating around that, not being able to go on trips, not being able to film, not being able to just go skate. Um, it was a lot built up. So I felt like when that happened and I heard, you know, I realized I wasn't going, it was a little bit of sadness, but like my happiness and just like the stress relief, like kind of overpowered it. Mm. And I wasn't like, my, like I couldn't like my, myself wouldn't, I couldn't like let myself be mad. Like there was nothing in my body that was like letting me like be sad. Cause it was like, dude, like it was fun. It was a, like a good run. And like, I learned so much. And it's like, you know, at that point I had already was already preparing myself and even talking with Andrew you know, we talked to have many conversations just, just about preparing myself for if I didn't make it. Mm. Like, just like dealing with that, knowing right. that like it's a possibility that could, you know, just like being okay with that. Oh, so you were comfortable prepared. With that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I was, I was prepared for, you know, if it went either way. So I think that preparing myself also helped me too. And like, you know, after it, you know, it didn't, you know, go as, you know, I wanted it to. I was like, okay, you know, I was like, I just thought about instantly about getting back and just getting back to, you know, like skating, being able to mm. skate. And the huge, you know what I mean, weight was lifted off my shoulders, you know, all the pressure that I was, like, holding, you know, like, going up to it, you know what I mean, and nerves and everything. And so, after that, you know, I just reminded myself, like, yo, like, you know, just because I didn't just cause I didn't make it this year doesn't mean, like, it's not over. It's like, you know, going back to what we talked about earlier, it's like just patience, you know, and the, the right timing. Yeah. And everything happened for a reason. So, I just, like, you know, played that to myself, like, yo, like... If it didn't happen, you know, maybe it wasn't, wasn't my time to go. Like, right, you know what right, I mean? Like, right, I'll, I'll try again next time. Like, I'm not tripping, you know what I mean? Like, a lot a lot of good came from, you know, this process. So, just, like, just relax, go back, skate, and just, you know, when it comes around again, try again. But I was like, yo, like, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. And so, you know, I went home with that energy, and, you know, I went home and just got, like, straight back to skating, you know, just felt the best I felt on my board since I got, you know, in the rim of, like, trying to adjust to that whole thing. And so, like... It was, I needed that. I felt like I needed that. And it was healthy for me to go through that because it was like a good reset for me. You know what I mean? Mm, like, yes. I mean, you look about, you look at everything now, you know, everybody who's stressing going to Olympics still left with the same amount of stress <laughs> and and are still trying to reset from it. So it was like, and you know, what's crazy is I, I, I took on uh, this partner, um, Alliance, and I did this whole campaign around mental health oh, before... Yeah you know all this stuff came out of after the games you know like it, in the original i signed that you know that partnership to like talk about my process to the olympics and so you know after i didn't make it i was like oh dang like are they gonna pull like am i still gonna have this like deal whatever but it was cool because i actually liked the new route it took it's focused on like post olympics and how mm -hmm. i dealt with not going and i mm -hmm. felt like that was way more impactful than if i would have went and shared that story because it was so crazy to me to see, you know, I mean, when we talked about shifting the story and, 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 you know, changing it to be around that, it was crazy to me after that came out, how many like cases and, and like, uh, things made, you know, news about all these athletes who talked about all this mental stuff they were going through going there. You have people dropping out because of mental health stuff. You have people like, making posts after the Olympics, you know, that were, you know, bummed and affected by it and, and you know, uh, got comfortable to be out there about it. And it was just, like, crazy to me to just, like, put all that together and be like, yo, that's so crazy that I literally, like, did this whole campaign with this partnership around that. And then, like, this became a thing after. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the Olympics was good, but it was still all over the place because, you know, look at, like, if you go Google how many of, like, the mental health things, like, came out, like, you had some, like, like Simone Biles, like, yeah. had a whole thing that about, yeah, you know what I mean? It was, like, yeah. a thing, so, like, you know, it just plays back to, like, all these things where I feel like happens for a reason where it was, like, it was just so crazy how on timing that was. Mm. And then it just, like, also allowed me to express, you know what I mean? I actually worked with Jacob Rosenberg on that. Oh, sick. And it was crazy to work with him, too, because it was, like, he, like, we talked about, you know, he just talked about how, I mean, when I had interviews about, you know, he was like, yo, you know, like, you know, I know this is image about, you know, you're all smiling, you know what I mean? But he was like, it's like, he's like, that's, like, not real. He was like, you're, at the end of the day, you're a human, and, like, you know, a lot of the times you do that to protect yourself because you don't, you know, you're afraid of being hurt. So mm -hmm. he was like, you know, just like when you start to become more vulnerable, you know, and 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 share, you know, 
true like true feelings with people that's when you will like that's when you will start to impact like mm-hmm. really impact people and doing that whole campaign like you know i mean we got in the you know depth you know about the olympic stuff too and how i was feeling you know and and all the stuff i dealt with and it felt good to like unload that and just like what i got from that and the feedback i got from those pieces you know from everybody like definitely like like empowered me so much more mm-hmm. you know what i mean and i felt mm-hmm. just like you know even way more stress-free so like this time going around it was like everything i took from that whole qualification season and olympic games from the deal that deal i did you know what i mean and that campaign i did it was like i feel i feel way better going at it again mm-hmm. because i learned so much you know what i mean it's about myself in that process of like trying to adjust to it and just like i feel like now mentally and like you know what i mean my nerves and just how i am now like i'll it'll be easier for me to take on like that yeah. stress that I dealt with in the beginning because it was so foreign to me and everybody else too. It was foreign, I was so say, it's yeah. like, like this time around, I'm like stoked about, yeah, like I'm gonna try again. Like, right. yeah, I'm stoked. Like, you know what I mean? I know what I can do better now. I know how to act. I know how to like try to take on some of this pressure and stress. And yeah, I'm stoked. Like, I think it's going to be dope. You know what I mean? I yeah, think so yeah. too. And I think you're exactly right. I mean, this was the first time, yeah. right? Nobody knew what to expect. Nobody knew the the mental health battles and Facts. everything that, that comes along with being on such a big stage mm-hmm. where, you know, you guys are used to street leagues and this and that, but this is literally the world's stage. Facts. And that's yeah. a lot but of literally, pressure. Literally coming off of a pandemic as well. That's Mental right. health is going to be more on the, on the compass of like, be aware of this. this exactly. Is so true. I think it's so true. interesting too, going into the competition side of it, uh, that there's a different game to play rather than just trying to win. Facts. Like, mm-hmm. uh, that's when I, and Rome was when I really realized it. When I see you guys, like, yo, to, to get in the Olympics, all I need to do is to get a 72 yeah. or whatever it was. I don't need to win. I just, like, Felipe was like, I don't care about doing the gnarliest trick. I Facts. need to get to that spot. Yeah. Right, right. And that right, puts right. me in there. And that's when it becomes more of a strategy yeah. rather than just being trying to win the whole thing right very interesting thing that i wanted to bring up right now because you're talking about that strategy jason rothmeyer on the show talking Mm -hmm. about how tampa they they got rid of all that Mm -hmm. so that we nobody knew the scoring and everything how would you feel about (laughs) that aspect of it so did you uh, tampa were you at the tampa pro this time yeah i was at tampa so you didn't know who was in the league you you didn't know you didn't know where you stood nothing not at all. Did how you did you like that? Did yeah. You, how did you like? Did, I don't know. It, it was. Well, it was it's, different. It's, it's just because the only re- reason why it's so hard to answer that maybe would be because it was just runs. Yeah. And it's not. If it was like Everything. the single tricks, yeah, like uh, that would be yeah. crazy. That would sure. be crazy. But like, but yeah. runs, just like I mean, you could kind of look and see. Okay. Like he had that run. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. his, you know what I mean? He's probably second, third. But, but still, you don't know. Yeah, but still, you don't know for sure. You don't know. You're going in blind to, yeah. to everything. For sure. Because I mean, the podium probably definitely, some people could argue that they thought it was going to look different, but then it was this, you know what I mean? It just all depends. It's mm-hmm. like that, it definitely keeps you on your toes. Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> yeah. you do not, you have sure. no idea. Like you think you know, <laughs> yeah. but you don't know. Because <laughs> imagine if you, they, they did the Olympics or even Street League for that matter. With the, you nobody, know, no scores, no nothing until I mean, it would add. It would it'd be an interesting experiment. Oh, I, it would sure. be like just Definitely. to not know. Okay, this is your last trick, mm-hmm. but you have no clue. Yeah, where you stand, right. where you stand, yeah. what you need to get. I exactly. wonder how that would change the dynamic of the skating. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. I mean, you would just have to guess. You would yeah. have to fully guess. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you couldn't. I will say that other people, I won't say who, but yeah. <laughs> other people would look at other people's scores and be yeah. like, oh, we got that? Okay, I Back. know what to do to yes. get a better score. Exactly. You can't relate anything. Nothing. At all. That would be fun to watch. It would be a uh, really fun sure. experiment. Yeah, yeah. You, you see everybody looking up but realizing that there's nothing there. there. <laughs> there ain't nothing there. <laughs> Talk about a different strategy. Like, yeah, you got to really figure it out and f- based on what's going on. You know? I would love to see that. Yeah, that's think, what, bro. I, I would love to see that. But that's what I did. Like last that last season too, I definitely every stop I tried to win. I did not play the game. Sure. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. And I and I know now, like you that's what I'm saying. Now I'm like, okay, from the from the jump, I know I gotta play the game. Like I you know, it's just all the game. Well, bro. I think you know, I think you can win a lot, Appreciate but like if there comes a point where you know it's like, Oh man, this is I, I just need to get to that point. Facts. And mm-hmm. I think there's certain people that, that play that game and some people go for the they exactly. go for the big 
they go for the big score. I don't nice. know. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, there's two different ways of playing exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. mm-hmm. I thought that was really cool they did that for Tampa. Mm-hmm. And how, how do you feel about the new Street League format now? Oh, it's it's straight to it. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it's 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 cutthroat. Well, like, it's, it's like one run and then what five tricks? Two runs, three tricks. Oh yeah, two runs. Two runs, three tricks. Oh, it's two runs now. It, oh, no, it, it was it, one, it, it run. Was one run. run. It was one run and then one one run, four, four tricks. Five, four tricks. Yeah. four or five tricks. Mm-hmm. No. Yeah, like yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. I'm sorry, I can't even remember. Yeah, it's cutthroat. So you ain't no room for error. Like if you if you fall on the run, you gotta have like. You gotta have four like solid nines if you want to win, or three. which I thought that was weird because usually you know you get a couple runs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know you get to mess up once, you get a get a backup run. Facts. You know, yeah. but sure. they didn't do that. Yeah, huh? Nah, super cut throw, but it's cool. Like I mean, cause you just gotta go f- like you gotta go for the throw off the rip. Right. Yeah. You can't right. play the. You know what That's I mean? Different. So than it's like the original way. Yeah, sure. you gotta like the runs gotta go crazy. Yeah. yeah. Like. And then if you set yourself up, then you could play a little bit in the trick section. But if you blow the run, you got to go crazy with the trick attempts, like mm. and land them. Yeah, you got to yeah. land like you got to. If you blow a run, you got to land like three, four, four out of five tricks, yeah. or like you know, Not three really. out of four. Like yeah, you got to. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. the crazy part is like what, now you have to make sure you get a, a fucking score on the mm-hmm. board. Facts. You, you don't got five times to like oh cool whatever what like, was yeah. the original <laughs> format two five four so mm-hmm. it was like two runs five tricks and you get the best four scores four, best four right, mm-hmm. right and now right. what is it one four three yeah one four three that's yeah. right okay four, wow yeah, dude that's, that's tough cutthroat cut like yeah. you said cutthroat cut i want to see this i want to see the street leagues without no scores bro i know street got scores gonna be crazy i mean i just want to see what that would bring, yeah, you know, without I, nobody knowing what's going yeah, on yeah. until the podium. I think it would keep. Obviously, the skaters would be very aware, but Facts. I think the the people watching it, it might create more of a anticipation. Uh, and, yeah, you're like, <laughs> what? That was great, but then everyone becomes the judge in their own Facts. head. Because totally. the one thing that I, I feel like skaters don't realize is they don't like judges are paying attention to everything mm-hmm. and sometimes a skater like yourself might just be paying attention to what you're doing yeah. compared to what other people are doing Facts. Mm-hmm. so in that scenario when you pay attention to everyone mm-hmm. it, what everyone's doing you can start, I don't know like that's just kind of makes it start, you, start, you start to see the map yeah right? you, you start, start to see the road map right yeah mm. I think that'd be pretty cool it's hard it'll be hard to pay attention to what everybody's doing when you're trying to focus on what the fuck you're doing Facts. exactly <laughs> but as a spectator you can like really analyze for sure you know, instead of just yeah. seeing, I don't know. That's one where the, trick. That's where the Andrews of the world's coming to play. Oh, Andrew, I hear. The I've been hearing it from. Coach. <laughs> I've been hearing it from Andrew every single. <laughs> Andrew who? <laughs> Andrew Nicholas. Yeah. Oh. Him, and, him and Kelly be going at it. I love it though because <laughs> we're actually friends. Yeah, though, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I love that. That's the best part about it is I know he's coming from a good Facts. spot. Mm-hmm. And he he, he yeah. be knowing though too though. Yeah. And it be tripping me out how like. He be knowing, like, even, like, y'all, and y'all talk about this, I'm like, bro, how do y'all, like, because sometimes y'all be calling scores. Like, something comes up, I'm just saying, like, in general, like, when, like, if we're at a street league, like, how I'm in Rome, and you're uh-huh. like, oh, that probably got that. And oh, then you're, like, we're talking like, yeah, just, side. like, I'm like, bro, like, y'all just are on it, like, yeah, because y'all, y'all are the spectators who can watch everything. Well, I've, I've, yeah, I think Andrew, Andrew would be a good judge yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah, fact. Because he's yeah. paying attention like yeah, that. Yeah, he'd be oh, But most people don't pay attention to that side of it, right? Yeah, facts. They're analyzing everything going on when mm-hmm. some people are just focusing on their favorite skater yeah. or this yeah. or that or that person. Oh my gosh, Nigel skating. What? Mm-hmm. He got that? Boo. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah, we right. talked about uh, Felipe. You know, at, at Tampa. Oh yeah, I, I was like, yo, his run was awesome. Dude, I thought for sure he was second place. Yeah, yeah, but like, then you have to realize who, the other four people that yeah. were in front of him, what their runs were like too. You forget about that stuff, right? When you're just looking at how good his yeah. run was, you're yeah. like, ah, oh, I guess you know, like when you're analyzing everything, you Facts. gotta put everything in order. I don't Facts. know. Yeah. So, it's tough. I yeah. would never want to be a judge. I've tried yeah, I'm judging. Good. I'm just not. I don't like judging yeah. skateboarding. Mike I don't said, like judging an individual. <laughs> Mike said he had to stop judging because he was like all his riders in the contest. He was like right, working for Nike and Toy. He was like, yeah, I had to stop judging, man. Yeah, yeah. everybody yeah. thinking yeah, I'm yeah, favoring yeah. the people. Yeah. Like, but that, yeah. but that, that <laughs> sucks to say. And <laughs> that sucks to say that because if you know Mike. As yeah. a person exactly. and his personality, like he would never mm-hmm. do that. Right? Facts. He would never oh, sure. stoop down to a level where Facts. he was favoring somebody. Facts. He Facts. is judging skateboarding. Exactly. It doesn't matter if Honestly, they're on Nike or his character. Adidas Facts. or New Balance, whatever. Yeah. Exactly. And that thing- sucks that he had to step yeah. down like that. Mm-hmm. I-, I think that's. <laughs> uh, listen, it is what it is, but yeah. 
if you know Mike's that was character, his choice of facts. Yeah, yeah, he stopped. Yeah, he was over judging. He was yeah. like, he's like, I want to do it. He's like, I didn't want to deal with all that. Yeah. Well, but see, he was dealing yeah. with it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, but sense. if you know his character, he's, yeah, he's not like that. I mean, the world we live in. His I know, I know. commentary. Too many so, people have a voice, dude. <laughs> facts. <laughs> the funnest thing is, is like, dude, he's an OG dude. Hearing yeah. his comments. Bro. We'll be judging something with him, or even just the way he, like he says some funny ass bro, shit. Him and Bob Reynolds oh. together. Oh my yeah, god, incredible! Bro. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro. They, they, I always tell me they need their own show. When he goes yeah. back, the edits him and Bob make. Oh dude, because he that's the thing, Mike. He will not skate when we on trips, Nike trips. Other he never he won't skate. Many he goes back to to Kaka. He with Bob, he comfortable. Yep. Oh, that yeah. dude be skating. Yeah. They be making edits, everything. Oh, I be like, my bro, God. my God. Bro, you'll never skate around us, bro. I think every time Mike calls me, I'm like, you with Bob? <laughs> you with Bob? Yeah. Like, because I know that Bob's going to be in the background. Yo, yo, yo. No, no, yeah. No, no, no. Like, His laugh. Yeah. And every time I see him in North Carolina, I'm like, he fucking drove there. Yes. Oh, he loves driving. I don't I'm understand that. that. No, no, dude. he doesn't love driving. He hates flying. Dude, yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. Both. He, he just was forced to love driving. Yeah, he just, exactly. That dude, man. Exactly. Oh, God. He's Mike, got, I'll meet you there. He's got red vines on the dashboard. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's got fucking all his candy. And shit. Milo. Little Milo right there, the pug. Oh, yeah. 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 He got you Milo in know. there, you know? You know. <laughs> we got to get Mike back in here first. I would love that. Oh, yeah. We did the Zoom thing with him, you know, when we weren't having people. Yeah. It's, you know, it's not the same. Fact. It's not, he's it's still not. funny. Yeah. Oh. But we gotta have him in here. And we gotta get Bob Reynolds here. Oh my Whoa, god. Could you Bob? imagine? <laughs> that would Bob. be a funny episode because I don't know funny. if the industry. I mean, I don't know if our fans really know Bob. You need to have them yeah. both. Yeah, I mean, the industry the definitely knows him. The industry. Hundred sure. percent. Yeah. But I'm saying our our fans. Our yeah. Community, yeah. I hate the word fans. Oh yeah. 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 Our community. Our community. I like that. Better. I like yeah. that community. Yeah. I like that. I just don't like it. Yeah. Fans to me is very impersonal. Yeah. Makes me feel. You know, we're not on a higher level. Facts. We are just skateboarders. Facts. And they're just a part of the community yeah you know i like that so you need mike and bob here at the same time (sighs) wow Maybe Talk about Bob, experience. Can Bob sit over Talk there with you? Experience. Yeah, you kick it. <laughs> Talk about sure. an experience, bro. That would be Hi, hilarious. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, look, okay, listen. Let's go. What are we doing? Film another video part. What's going on? What are we working on right now? Um, yeah. So I'm filming. Um, so I'll probably have. Well, I'm gonna have a couple of tricks. Um, Toy Machine has a video coming out. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I don't know. I reveal some information, but I think it's. Well, they have some coming out like in Decemberish. Okay. I'm gonna have like a couple of tricks like sprinkled in that, and then I'm gonna just. Uh, I I, got, I have I mean, a good amount of footage. Yeah, so I'm a chill. I didn't want to like. Okay. I didn't want to like try to do another part and like you know. I mean, that's the thing. Also, I talked. You know, I've had the conversation with Guy and Mark about too. Is like where I learned it from is like not like oversaturating. You know, mm-hmm. like yeah. just quality over quantity. And so I've never been. A, you know, I mean, like, like that part I just dropped. I didn't drop a part for like two years. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm and I'm always just about like I just want quality. Yeah. So I'm like I didn't want to rush it again. You know what I mean? And for another part, I was like I'm just gonna wait. Save all my like you know the best stuff I feel like was stu- good stuff to me. Just going to next year and just like use next year if, even if it spills over, mm-hmm. you know, to film some more. But definitely gonna save it and try to come out with another part like next year or something. Oh. But just part and oh, yeah. all I do, all I do is wake up at seven a.m. I go to the gym for like an hour, skate all day, and then I end at the studio. Just music. So like that's that's my oh, whole. Yeah, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, music. Music. yeah, yeah. yeah. What's going on with the studio, bro? <laughs> uh. I mean, you dropping some hot fire. Right? Trying, What's trying, on, you know, man. trying. I'm just trying to make music. You know what I mean? That that's all I do is like, you know, I end the night with music every day, and I've been making music for a while, but I just, you know, decide like I've been getting more comfortable with mm. it, like the recently because you know, obviously it left a bad taste in skateboard's mouth for a while. So like, I'm always a person of like, I want to do everything the right way. So like, you like, you can't hate it. Like, I don't want anybody to hate it. I want to try to do it the best way I can so just people respect it. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, and so, like, yeah. and so, I, you know, I waited and I, like, tapped in because I was, like, you know, I, like, some of my, you know, good friends, you know, like, we're, like, brothers, but they're, like, they're, they're DJs, you know what I mean? Like, one of my homie TJ, and uh, he DJs for, like, Ferg and, like, some other people, you know what mm. I mean? It's, so, like, he's, like, in the music, you know what I mean? And so, I would just always send him, you know, my music, you know, after I made it, you know what I mean? And I have friends who are, like, oh, your music's good, but, you know, you need the constructive criticism yeah, outside yeah, of that. For you sure. You know, for like sure. they, they, the homies will tell you it's good, you know what I mean? The, you drop some <laughs> stuff and it's really whack. So like, you know, I was, I started sending to my bro TJ. Um, TJ the and, DJ. Yeah, TJ the DJ, yo, yeah. Yo. Great dude. Um, but I started, you know, I don't mean to name drop, but like, you know, his his dad is actually like, you know, Jam Master J. So like they come, like that's yo. like his family. So like he's like, 
he's like music. Yeah, like and he, he, he knows. He like he has no time to lie to me. He gonna keep it a buck with me. And I'm a I love constructive criticism. So like I like I want all of that. Like yeah. tell me if it's whack. Like don't gas me. Like if it's whack, tell me. You know what I mean? Because I'm gonna try to go harder and get better. Like I'm not. I don't want to sit in whack music. <laughs> so I just sent it to him and. You know, he's he always just been telling me, like, yo, you know, like, you know, walking me through progression, you know, and, and learn to get better. But, you know, alongside with him also, like, giving me knowledge on it, you know, it was like a while ago we had, like, a little, like, family dinner at his crib. And it was, like, me, him, Ferg, you know, a couple other people. And I was talking to Ferg about skating for a minute, like, before we even got to the music stuff. And he brought the music and he was like, yo, like, what's up with your music? Like, you know, we're on tour. Like, you know, TJ be playing it in the studio. Like, you know what I mean? I was like, oh my God, TJ be playing on music. <laughs> yeah, no. This dude. It's like, playing, <laughs> yeah. it's like playing a sponsor me tape in front of the whole, yeah, like, yeah. team. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, I was like, yeah, you know, like, I, you know, I love making music. You know, I've been doing it for a while. You know what I mean? I just, you know, I make it sense of the homies. Like, I never, like, you know what I mean? Put it out there like that. And he was like, no, like, you know, like, it's, it's dope. Like, you should, like, do stuff with it. You know what I mean? Like, you should, there's no sense of just, like, you know, sitting on, like, music. You know, it's an art. Mm -hmm. You know, him and my big bro TJ always tell me that. And so, once I heard that, you know, and TJ always telling me, you know, like that, like, you know, I'm getting better at it and stuff. I was like, okay, now I'm getting to a point where I'm like being confident about like sharing it. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I want to put it out there. And so like, you know, now we're here, you know, I've dropped like two songs so far, you know what I mean? And going to continue to drop more, but I'm happy to finally like be able to like put it out there and make, uh, bring it on as a part of me. Cause it's something I like actually enjoy and love doing. Like I'm like a music junkie, like outside of making it, like I'm like, music all day like that's i just love music and so like now to have like put some out and like break that kind of ice of like how it was being received and people you know what i mean like it's just so random because i'll be with skate homies and like who like are just strictly skating like they're asking me like when i'm gonna drop more music but it's oh, like yeah. and it's like <laughs> and i never like at the beginning i was like oh no nah, like people are like but it's just crazy to see now where it's like it's normal and it's a part of me now so it's like and you know people are hyped on you know what i mean and i love doing it so I like really work to like make good music. Like, dude, mm -hmm. I had like, bro, I made a song with Ben Harper that like I've been Damn, sitting on. Wow. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, I like, I like really like on the lowest keys. Like, you know, I like really try to tap in and like make good music. That's so tight, I want to continue to just do it and drop music. You know what I mean? And like, I don't know, just have it a part of me always. You know, like roller skating. Like, these these are things I love to do. And so I'm given a platform. So you know, what I mean, it's my job to like you know bring people into my world and that's the thing is like you we're in a time now where you could do anything Facts. and put it out there you mm -hmm. know where can we find it um it's like on spotify apple spotify? music it's just my okay. name oh, i yeah, tried to begin to think of a rap name but i was like nah no, i'm just gonna name, do my name your name, name is perfect name. Thank across you. the yeah. board thank you thank you i thought about it i got to the point where i was like i'm just gonna do my name yeah. as my hell music. yeah, yeah. Need Straight to, like, to sean so. jordan that's a great name skateboarders whatever the fuck it is dog thank you and it's a short lip a list of skateboard rappers you know what i mean so if you could you know rise to the top of that you know facts yeah, the thing yeah. too is I don't you know if it's music or skateboarding we can all see through the bullshit Facts. we can all see through the you know the you know just people just doing stuff you know Facts. You, like you, Facts. we could see I've never heard your music but mm -hmm. I'm gonna listen to it, yeah. and I'll tell you if I feel if I really feel like <laughs> yeah, yeah, I need that. <laughs> yeah, I need that, bro. Keep it in buck with no, me. No, but you know what I'm saying. I like, that. like I feel yeah. like we can see through the Facts. bullshit and. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you know what I'm saying, Doug. Yeah, it's like no doubt. The, um, if you like, quit. like if somebody's not having fun skating, we could see that. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. If you had like quit skating, and did that, <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, I mean, yo, don't do that. Yeah. Like, that's when I would be like, yeah, like, <laughs> nice. 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 because we you all actually, seen it. you are seen doing it. something rad for skateboarding right it. now. Oh, Appreciate yeah. it. So and, yeah, oh for bro, and plus we've seen this happen. Yeah, you know, my dear friend Jeremy Rogers <laughs> tried to do this. <laughs> he's still trying to do it. You <laughs> hey, know you know what I, I totally love about that is that that's what he wanted to yeah. do and he loved it. No, like, no. you know, I so. respect him for that, but I also be like, bro, you you could you could have still been skating for yeah. quite Fact. some yeah. time. Yeah, yeah. Like, you, know you, you dropped a good thing, though. dude. That's one thing I do like. I line it up, you know what I mean? Like, I dropped the song. It's like a little fun song, White Claw song I dropped a minute ago, like some, like two summers ago. And I waited purposely until I dropped a video part to drop a song. I always time it like that. I won't drop I won't drop music and overshadow my skate. Like, it has to be to where it's like, okay, I'm, you know, I dropped a video part or some footage. Like, now I could drop a song. Yeah, Not yeah, yeah. drop song, drop song, and no, like, footage. Nah, like, I'm trying to, like, really, like... Like, I really, you know, I want to do both because I love doing both so I'm I'm never gonna like quit something like it, it's gonna be right there yeah, like you know what I mean what it's about so, man, I see a track with Lil Wayne coming soon uh, yeah, yeah I mean you know what I'm saying yeah, yeah, no, Jordan, Lil Wayne Lil, yeah. you know what I'm saying 
you know, throw on some Ben Harper guitar <laughs> riffs. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's you get know? let's get an anthem going. Yeah. 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 What about, yeah. what about do you think? Do you ever see yourself skating to your own song? <laughs> That's I've a good, always yeah, wanted. Yeah, I've always wanted yeah. to know. Like, I've, uh, it's when, been done before. Yeah, that 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 one. I'm, that one. I'm still a little nervous about. <laughs> yeah. Well, because you're saying like I want to drop a, a song when a new video part yeah. comes out. What have you ever thought about <clears throat> dropping a fire ass clip with a fire ass song that you? I know. I have thought about that. You know, what's crazy is I almost used the song me and me and Ben Harper had for my last oh. part. Oh, wow. Okay. I almost okay. did, yeah. I wanted to do a whole thing around that. Like, I was going to have, uh, well, I like, when we decided to drop the song, um, a team was going to shoot, like, the cover for it. Mm. And, uh, like, I wanted to do a whole thing around that, but I wanted to, like, blend it in and, like, do, like, a whole, like, little, like, like uh, print in the mag of, like, me and Ben working. Like, I had this whole vision I wanted to do, like, with it. But, yeah, I mean, at some point down the road, like, I mean, it, like, I guess if I make one, but I wouldn't tell nobody. I literally would not say a word, and I would just do it and just like, just see. But it would like obviously like you know what I mean I want I would want to make a song part like along the lines of like a Ben Harper vibe or like right. a Charles Bradley vibe, something that's like a real like music like you know a real song. And then you know what's crazy is that at X Games uh, in San Diego, my homie TJ was DJing. Mm-hmm. And he like I didn't even know he was playing my song. Oh shit! But the one I wanted to say, Diego, he was playing my song hard. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't I didn't know until like after my run, and I took my AirPod out because I was listening to music. Oh, oh that makes right. sense. And I okay. and I heard it, and then like like they were like talking about it after there was like <laughs> the song like went to his own song, and I was like I didn't even know the bro because <laughs> oh, wow. I, yeah. I sent I sent him all the music, but he just sprinkled it in there. Amazing. But it was crazy because like after that, like X Games like was like making an edit for their channel but like having my song in the background oh. it was like low key like that little thing like off the slide was just like you know like i feel like it was dope because then like people like that or like in those environments or workspace like you know i make music and now they're like pushing you know what i mean like i've any interview that i've recently done the music stuff always comes up mm-hmm. and i love that because yeah. it's like it's like brought up naturally because it's like yeah. you know people are starting to like see like that's something like i actually like enjoy like i love doing it like you said it's not like on no BS Forced, it's like yeah. like I'm actually like really trying to make like good music and I like really care about what yeah. I put out and I actually like plan it the timing of like footage and everything so like that's what I was saying earlier it's like any song I've dropped I literally like have had the song ready to drop but like have dropped it like when I know I'm gonna drop like a skate park mm. so that that way like you can't like you can't say that I'm like you know, flopping or like doing this more than this or quitting this because I'm like, yo, like I just dropped the part and then now I dropped the song so you yeah. know that like, you know what I mean? That's yeah, like my yeah, whole yeah, thing yeah, with yeah, it. Yeah. So. And you could tell that you love it. You yeah, know, yeah, I right. mean, obviously it took you this long to mm-hmm. actually like drop stuff, Facts. right? It's like, yeah, you know, it's a, uh, and sometimes, I don't know, man, and this kind of, Sometimes it's tough to kind of put yourself out there. Sometimes, Facts, you know, Facts. It, it takes a lot of guts Facts. sometimes. I mean, people do it left and right. Mm-hmm. You know, that's cool, but it's. Uh, Man, like I said before, man, a lot of people, too many people have voices nowadays. Facts. You know? mm-hmm. But if you're putting out good shit, though, listen, I'm going to subscribe yeah. to you on Spotify. Yeah. Uh, is it on Spotify? <laughs> yeah, it's on Spotify, Apple it's Music, Jordan. YouTube, all that. Yeah, Apple Music? <laughs> you got a good name for for. A Thank you. It yeah. actually really works. Yeah. yeah. You can see like that if I was a, sure. If I was a musician, Chris Roberts, I don't know, I'd have to get like a, I don't maybe, I don't know. I'd maybe have to get a little stage I, I can name. see Chris Roberts like you <laughs> playing the yeah. play guitar, yeah. dropping some like, probably some music along the lines like some Ben Harper type stuff. Ben Harper type, yeah, legend by the way. Yes, yeah, dude, Ben Harper. Great dude. Fuck yeah. Such an great avid dude. and a fan of skateboarding. Mm-hmm. I love it. Like skateboarding nerd, like that dude. Yeah. He like yeah. Yeah. loves skating. It's like he so goes good. and skates El Sereno early in the morning by it's like he like really skates. Yeah. And he could fake he think he, he, he could fake he's got laser. laser flips. No, he, yeah. 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 He can do he regular tricks. laser flips. Yeah. Too, right? I'm like <laughs> so crazy. You don't do that trick on fakey lasers? Do no, you? I I've never tried a fakey laser. You should try never it. tried one? No, I've been doing fakey very hills a bunch though. Oh. I I've been loving that trick down okay. stuff. Like it I love that Bro, trick. Bro, the one that Chima did in his last part, you <laughs> see that one? That was banging. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. That trick it's a hard, is so yeah, sick. It's a hard yeah. trick down. Reynolds OG. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Fakey yeah. Hills. Fa- Reynolds fakey very hills. Yeah. yeah. Reynolds too. Yeah. What Chico? Chico what, got the great on the ground. What did he do that on? Uh, Reynolds, I can't remember what spot. Um, Big set of stairs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ah, I was just talking about it with the homie. Uh, Why can't it I, wasn't. Um, it, it was wasn't it La Kenyatta, Was it? No, I don't know. It wasn't because I know he. I'm trying to think. I thought it was the one, but this other one, this big one, he front side flipped. I think in like the last, the a couple of America views were away, but I can't, I can't think of what the Fakey Vario Hill was in. But 
It was it was a good one. Yeah, what the hell? I can't remember, but I just remember him doing it. But like, whoa, that's fucking yeah. crazy. Hard but, trick to make look good. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> you know what? A couple people make it look good. Yeah, crazy one. I can imagine uh, for some reason always thinking the manuals. Fakey laser flip, fakey manual. Oh my god, never seen that. Or to switch manual, but I yeah. th- I could see that happening pretty easy. I've never seen anyone. I would it. almost think fake, fake manual would be easier than switch manual mm-hmm. because you're already kind of yeah. leaning that way back a yeah. little bit. You'd have to like do a fakey and then kind of readjust your shoulders. Well, what it's kind of like fakey tray switch manual. That's for me. Fakey tray switch manual is easier than. Oh yeah, because the way because like the way it goes, it, it just kind of goes out and like yeah, you kind of just lean back. Fakey burial heel switch nose man, like switch yeah. nose manual will work. Yeah, because yeah. like, that's a more flowy. Yeah, more yeah. Flowy, but coming like, all the way around. It seems like just that you got to be really like ready to catch that thing yeah, yeah scoop yeah, the yeah, heck yeah. out of it like yeah. <laughs> you know people over there listening anyone out there let's see it Fake yeah me. let's see it. yeah oh, hey anything is possible <laughs> i i don't i don't want to discourage you to try on that like please like anything i'm sure is it's possible. been done you, you already like know, day you one or some shit. oh yeah yeah dude. you could think about it you could do it no doubt Facts. oh yeah, yeah. yeah. anything is yeah. possible mark johnson bro yeah, yeah. bro that's why dude, that's why crow tech videos were the best oh, yeah. <laughs> like you guys didn't put out footage for like a couple years but best believe when the video came out it was some stuff that lasted it's still lasting to this yeah. day a couple years that no one be like five years yeah five years <laughs> but i mean but look at like there's those videos and parts people still yeah right. i mean there's a lot of anticipation like, yeah, yeah. Videos, man. like sure. those videos will if they redrop that video today it would be still oh as one God. of the greatest oh, videos yeah, like, yeah right greatest videos fully flared all of I mean, those uh, everything yeah. hot chocolate tours but, uh, i think pretty <laughs> sweet was like the last <laughs> <laughs> the last anticipated video, I feel mm-hmm. like the big the, of that generation. Yeah, the big video. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's been video. eight years, nine years. I know, Dang, right? Since pretty. Listen, sweet. they're they're working Can't on something right now. Though. Man, they're working on some shit right now. But they the got char- some. <laughs> yeah, sorry to interrupt. Like the characters at that point in that video, oh. songs, everything, everything, everything. Always good. So songs. good. Listen, we got a we got a wide array of talent right now over there at the Quail Tap Dude. headquarters, bro. I love Wild. It, bro. Talent over New there. generation. Oh yeah. Loving it. Oh yeah. yeah. We live in it, man. Oh geez, Dubs. Oh geez. Yeah. There's some OGs, there's some, there's some, there's some OGs over there. Yeah. <laughs> Got a couple OGs over there. That's yeah. right. That's right. Deshaun. Deshaun Jordan. <laughs> Musician. Skateboarder. All around fucking great human being, no dude. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. you. This has Appreciate been you. fucking so much fun. As I say to every guest, because I love every guest that comes through here, there's a reason why we have people on this show, but come back anytime. Oh, for sure. We would love to, you know, sit back down with you Mm -hmm. in a little bit. Maybe the next video part you drop. Oh, facts. You know what I mean? Come back and break it down for us. We'll have a monitor there. We could play some clips. Yeah, I'm down. And uh, maybe we could debut, I don't know how the music rights would go. We could debut your new, uh, new... uh, song. If it's his yeah. music, yeah. oh yeah. If it's mine, yeah, you're all good. Okay. Like it comes, yeah. Live performance. Okay. <laughs> Live perform. <laughs> yeah. He's like, well, <laughs> just get out. Hey, yo, put Listen, the mic yeah, up. we're gonna put. We'll get <laughs> a little handle for that thing. You could, you could, you could walk around the room. We'll put a cord. And you could walk around. You, can, you know. have the camera facing that way. You can open the curtain right there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <wow. laughs> Yeah, but no. have a whole performance. You'll buy a ticket. We'll so. dim the lights. We'll put a little fucking disco. Well, whatever Straight you want, up. fog yeah. machines, all that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Live audience nice. here too. Let's fire. No. Yeah. yeah, I'm all for it, man. I, I'm all for a good time. I love yeah. it. And it, you, dude, it, that we could tell. You know? <laughs> it's like the roller skating, the dancing. Yeah. The, you Let's know, go. you're just a fun guy. Fun, you know? Know? <laughs> for real, for real. I've mean, always enjoyed talking to you. Appreciate you know, I always. I mean, whenever I see you, I always corner you. Facts. You know, we always have a nice conversation. Yeah. The last it's time really I was dope. at, we were at Venice skating the curbs, right? The last time we like chopped That's it up. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Yeah. I'm just so stoked for you, man. Yeah, Thank you. I bro. really fuck truly am, man. Appreciate you are a talented it. skateboarder. Thank you. Great human being. I'm so glad that everything is finally clicking and <laughs> it's working out, man. <laughs> yeah, right, I man. love it, dude. So much, yeah, I'm hyped. I'm bro. Just trying to keep it going. You are, dude. You're gonna pff. There's no telling, man. This guy's going to win the yeah. Olympics, Stubbs. Right? Hey, he's definitely, definitely got great the chance, bro. potential Thank for you. that. No Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate please. Use that breathing technique. Facts. Yeah. yeah. Facts. Yeah, works, bro. Facts. It saying? does, man. Yeah. That, re- that reset works. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Kelly, will you do the honors? Can we give you some mugs and yeah. stuff to take home with for you? Sure. Yeah. For sure, yeah. Oh, Apple Music, Spotify, mm-hmm. wherever maybe songs are downloaded, yeah. Google, whatever they have nowadays. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, the website I drop them, uh, drop the music through called TuneCore. Oh, they uh, they upload it to like all those platforms. Got you, yeah, got so. you. And then you get residuals from each play. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. The first first time like doing that like casting because you link your bank account and uh-huh. you go in and you see like you know because you get paid off the streams and stuff like this is crazy like it was little but it was like oh cash like a little check off of music that's pretty crazy and then like this time like the song that like i dropped just recently like tripled in like streams that that one did so like it was like a little more money so it is crazy that, like that's amazing making any type of money off like music is yeah. crazy i'm like what <laughs> Yeah, you whether it's I mean, a small or big. Exactly, you know, it's like, just it's crazy. Still yeah. something that, yeah. like, damn, okay. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Facts. Like, That's people, dope. people tapping in, like, it's crazy. Like, you know, you go see the comments. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, people, like, leave comments, like, the music or, like, on Spotify or YouTube or whatever. It's just crazy, like, seeing people who are, like, you know what I mean? Just the feedback on it. I'm like, yeah. dang, like, yeah. finally out there. Finally just putting stuff out there. It's cool, That's man. Good. It's cool mm-hmm. to be, like, in love with something for such, such a long time and then finally, like, share it. Facts. Right? Mm-hmm. It's like... It may, it's a little, it's a bit of anxiety yeah. right. and it's a bit, but once you get going, you know, and I like, I, I, I truly, okay, not all the time, but I do like constructive criticism, Facts. right? Okay. There's always going to be a commenter that just makes no fucking sense. Mm-hmm. He's just probably being a dickhead, yeah. you know, but there are those commenters too that you're like, oh wow. Okay. A lot of people are saying that. Facts. Hmm. You can learn Let something. Let me take away yeah, from exactly. what these guys are saying. You know, Facts. maybe I can improve on what I'm doing. I mean, it's, it happens here at the show. Exactly. I don't take everybody's comments into consideration yeah. because like I said, some of them are just dickheads Facts. and they don't know what they're doing, but exactly. you know, it's those repeat ones where you're like, hmm, okay, maybe they're onto something. Let me listen to this exactly. and let me, let me take it to into consideration at least. Facts. You know yeah. what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So comments are good and not so good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like there's, 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 it's a, you know, it's a double edged sword. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, you gotta, know? you gotta have it. You, you gotta have it. Yeah. You gotta have it. It's just the, yeah. it's the, it's the aspect of, of it all. And if you, if you don't got it, then you know what I mean? If yeah. you have it, you're doing something right. That's right. You gotta have a little balance. You gotta right? have the balance. Yeah. You gotta have the balance. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. man. Listen, bro, just show First of Big all, dog. bro. You are the man. I Thank love you, Thank you, man. Bro. You too. You are the you fucking... Too. You're King. Killing it these <laughs> days, King. bro. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, first of all, listen. Here's a candle for you, dude. We have candles here at the oh, Night Club, go. okay? Yeah. I don't know if you're a candle guy or yeah, scent guy. Yeah, I am. <laughs> you know for sure. Uh, I drink the LaCroix Pample Mousse. Okay. Okay, so we got the LaCrob Pample Mousse okay. scent. Mm-hmm. It smells yeah. like grapefruit. You know what I'm okay. saying? Ooh, I don't even have to open the box. I'm smelling. Yeah. It. It's kind of <laughs> smelling through that thing. It's permeating like that. Yeah. through the box. I like that. You know? Then we have uh, one of our artists, uh, the community. Okay. You know, not fans, community. Mm-hmm. Sam Pearson drew this. We called it our burning mug, which we should get an update of, of this and throw dubs on here. But uh, hey. this is me, Roger, and Kelly. Hey. You know, we were as... as uh, Skeletons. That's sick. We call it our burning they mug. Got the chocolate hats on there. Yeah. <laughs> Talented. <Kelly. laughs> Talented motherfucker. That's amazing, bro. bro. And uh, also the nightclub logo the mug. The stamp. Oh, yeah. The staple. You already yes. know. Logo it's, mug. it's perfect time for wintertime. You know what I'm saying? Hot, Hot cocoa? Chocolate. Yeah. 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 Listen, you, you got to put know. some marshmallows in oh, there. Oh, always. Always. <laughs> always. I'm going to travel with the minis. I'm going to keep it on. I'm going to wrap it up, put it in my suitcase. There we go. Get the hotel room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's better than a boot. Listen. Yeah. I got some for y'all too. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm not done. I'm not done. Hold on, hold on. No, no. He said, I know. <laughs> this is for your board at the Olympics, bro. We got some Yeah, let me get those, man. I need the sticker pack. We got the sticker pack, bro. If you get Thrasher cover. Yeah. You know, Olympic broadcast. You know, national <laughs> television. <laughs> What's the payout? <laughs> Yeah, what's the best? <laughs> 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, I take 20 it. 20 bucks. That's that's not clearly not visible. It has to be clearly yeah. visible. It's Listen, at our discretion. It has to go through the- all of us. <laughs> yeah, it has to go through it's all of us. It's got to get approved. Us. Yeah. 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 First Invo- it goes, invoice us and we'll, we'll decide if it's yeah. yeah. First it goes through Kelly, then it gets handed to Jerron, and then Raj <laughs> takes a look at it, and then I'm like, okay, well, shit. <laughs> and I'm a hard one to get through it right away, too, so it's like, yeah. Boom. Oh yeah, it's not. Oh, it's you got some yeah, 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 I bought some for y'all too. Okay. Wow. Yeah. Too. Listen, I I missed getting gifts from the yeah, from the gang, gang, bro. But listen, you don't. He didn't have to do that. You know, we talked about the health. Okay. Thing, you know, and you know, I had to mm. place, place the podcast. So what? Day, yeah. Wow. Bro. bro. You know what I mean? I had whole, to go look out. That's hey, that man. good water right there. Right there. That's that good water. <laughs> Thank you for that. You wow. Because you know what? Listen, we we're always um. 
man, we're always buying water and Facts. stuff. We're always buying shit over here, bro. Mm-hmm. And uh, this is good water. Yeah. yeah. This is I, good water. We got to get you laced up. Essentially. The- it's expensive, but good water. Worth paying yeah. for. Let me Facts. Get- yeah, straight <laughs> up. Yeah. yeah, what was your boy's name again? We have uh, to give him a call. Or yeah. yeah. Re- yeah. Re- yeah. Re- yeah. Re- 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 hey. 9.5 pH or higher purified electrolytes for taste, bro. Ionized hydration. Thank yeah. you for this, man. Yeah, you are very bro. welcome. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me, man. Hey, this is... Listen, it's been a long time coming, but I, like I said, timing's everything. Mm-hmm. Dude, you're doing great, bro. I'm yeah. so fucking stoked for you. Thank definitely. you. Seriously, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah. It yeah, proud to see how you're doing on your journey, bro. You definitely Appreciate doing a good it. job, man. Thank Just you. Keep up the good work. Already, yeah, man. You already know. Man. Gotta say ten toes down. We're gonna keep it going. I, l- yeah. I like that saying though. Ten toes down. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I never even <laughs> heard that grounded, before. Grounded, bro. Yeah. Grounded. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Ten toes down. Ten toes. I'm gonna steal that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Ten toes down. It's ten toes down. Were the four wheels down? What was I Kelly, I don't know, but you got to stay 10 toes down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> always, ten to- always 10 toes down, bro. I always no, never not 10 toes down. Sometimes I wonder. You know, he's got four or five toes down. I'm like, yo, you got to all 10. Bro, you see my toes right now? All they're 10. Down. All 10. <laughs> down, bro. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> he said he panicked the camera real quick. I know. I'm sorry, I can't even see it from here, bro, but I got to take hey, your look, word. Look, look, look. Yeah. I see him, I see him. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, my never toes not. down. Dubs has his 10 toes down hey. constantly. Been. Yeah, already. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mine fluctuate. You know, sometimes I got nine toes down. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> one up, just sticking up. One yeah. toe, one it's toe a big toe. <laughs> like, it's usually the big up. toe. Yeah, oh, yeah. The big toe. I can. Uh, you know what's funny about the toes, man? I, uh, I'd always trip out that we don't have full control over our toes like we do our fingers. Yeah. You know, like I can, I can, you know, put the middle finger up. I can do one, two, three. <laughs> I, I can do all this stuff. But with my toes, you can't yeah. do that. It's yeah. either like down or up, all mm-hmm. five of them. Yeah. Dude, so, I do these yeah. like you don't have any control. Yeah. Yeah. I do these when I, where I go work out. Like, um, she like walked me through this, the thing called like toe cars. And it's like trying to lift your toes up one by one. What? It's the oh, hardest wow. thing ever. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Is it so Jessica? Jessica? Yeah, Jessica. Oh, like, yeah. splaying them and, like, closing them, and it's so hard. It's, like, it literally seems like it could be the easiest thing, but it's so hard. I never thought so, of that. So, I, my brother had a friend back in the day. He could do the middle finger with the, he'd do the middle toe. Mm. Oh, my yeah. God. He would what? show it off. He would Talent. take off his shoes to show He's off. Like, hey. He do that. Wow. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but I always trip out that we don't have our, we don't have a, there's this old trick, though. When you do this, you could lift this finger, this finger, but you can't lift that finger oh. up off the table. What the mm. heck? It's stuck, yeah. Yeah. Dude, I can't do the, wait. Well, what, you do the, f- you do middle finger down. And you can't yeah, lift up your. Can't. Oh my gosh! You can't lift it up, <laughs> bro. I cannot like. You can't lift it up. So Dubs is shaking over here, but no, but you're not down all the way. You gotta put that knuckle down on the table. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you can't. You I don't can't even lift know it what's up. going on. <laughs> that's pretty crazy. That's what about? No, I, put your knuckle on the table. Okay, so what is it again? Fingers are made. Middle finger, knuckle on the table. No, no, put your flat. knuckle on the table flat. Your middle knuckle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now try to lift up all the fi- all your fingers. One. No, keep your knuckle on the table. Ow. Keep your knuckle <laughs> on the table. You keep your knuckle on the table, dude. Listen, <laughs> 10 knuckles down, bro. <laughs> ten, ten, 10 knuckles down. What about, ten down. can you guys down. do the Star Trek thing? Like the Pharrell thing? Yeah. This one? Yeah, I can't do that, bro. I can't. I can bring it. I can do yeah, But you're doing some like <laughs> West Side. Yeah, you, I can't. you like splaying it. And yeah. Like, no, okay, well, I can't. I can't keep you the can't two do fingers that? together. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Yeah. Yeah. Star Trek. Look, see? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There, you go. there it is. There it is. <laughs> that's, that's not it. <laughs> Kelly, man, listen, 10 toes down, you baby. Did. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Keep it 10 toes. Keep that. uh, that's a good one. Keep it 10 toes. <laughs> Keep it ten toes, baby. There you go. Like, you take any supplements or anything? You take uh, any? No, I don't no? need supplements. No. no. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Just, just water and you know, trying to eat good food. But there you, go. you know, like I said, sometimes get those you gotta nuggets. do what you gotta Bro. do. Sometimes yeah. you need, you know, you gotta Love hit that. up Ronald. Yep. Ooh, <laughs> eating no. that pizza, shit like that. Just, you know, no. you gotta treat yourself. Facts. You know? No Straight mustard, up. big Big Mac sauce. Yeah, no mustard, Big Mac sauce, mm-hmm. cheeseburger. Just <laughs> just one cheeseburger? Just one cheeseburger. Oh. One cheeseburger and six piece. You yeah. take the pickle off? I'm not no, mad I at keep that. The you like the pickle? Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm-hmm. I, used to, I used to take the pickle off. But see, I was too scared to tell him. Yeah. No pickle. You can take it right off. You're scared very easy, to... And it's a little measly pickle. Why were you scared to tell him? I didn't want to be that guy adjusting my oh, order yeah, at the I'm window. Not, yeah, I'm that guy. Yeah. Dude, uh, everyone's that guy. No. If I pay, if I pay, not if, at McDonald's. If I pay for yeah, it, bro. What are you talking about? If I pay for it, I got to enjoy it. Yeah, I don't want to. If I want a Big Mac with no pickles, I want no pickles. Exactly. I take the and pickle off. Like, they're all like, 
Oh, this fucking guy. How yeah, do you know? Yeah, because they. What, How do you know, dude? If you don't know. Do, <laughs> 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 He's saying he knows everything. Yeah, but dude, he cut you out so many. I know. <laughs> He's like, you don't know. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I can't even respond to that. But I guess I don't know. Bro, hey, I, hey, I, I started low key thinking like, damn, am I a bad person? For yeah. No, you're not a bad person. I'm giving, I'm giving him shit. I'm giving him shit. My homie's back and scared. I'd be like, bro, if you don't, I'd be like. Get some sauce. Don't want to get it. Bro, if you don't get sauce, bro, like, why are you scared <laughs> to ask for sauce, bro? Don't do too much. Bro, you're not doing too much, bro. We pay for the food. Yeah. yeah. As long as you're not an asshole about exactly. it. Exactly. But hey, can I please get some Big yeah. Mac sauce? Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, sure, Dubs no talks about his, one of his friends that used to be oh, up the no, window. Oh, no, yeah. Like I said, I, I, I'm ordering. I don't want my homie ordering because I don't want the way he orders to get ordered. Facts. He fucking sounds crazy as fuck. Like, okay, <laughs> look, man, I want this the way I want this. And I'm like, dude, I don't... Separate order. I'm yeah, ordering. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll <laughs> I don't know this guy. I don't know this guy. We're in the you same car, I mean? but yeah. don't matter. I'm going to go inside. You order from the window. Look, he, ordered, yeah. he ordered his. Now I'm going to order mine. Hi. Right. How you Hi. doing? How are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> I'd like a Big Mac combo <laughs> the way it comes. <laughs> Everything on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>